So sorry about last night. I couldn't stream because the end was just too crappy. But uh, we're going to do Morrowind on Friday instead, which is not that, you know, far away, you know. Considering the fact that I, you know, I did a San Andreas stream like a month after the last one. So, uh, you know, hey. Anyway. Morrowind. Yeah. In the morning when I haven't really woken up yet. But I have my bastard coffee here, which again, tastes like coffee flavored water. Uh Goddamn instant coffee. I switched um, switched brands recently, and I, I did a big mistake in my, my life. So, uh, yeah, no, not a fan of that. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, anyway, let's uh, get it on screen and all that, yes. Joel sounds older and more tired every day. I just woke up. I just woke up. Uh, hey, guys, everybody, how you doing? <laughs> Drowning a cup of coffee. All right, uh, What's with waking up at boomer hours? Damn, you guys keep fucking inventing new new words in English language every day. Holy shit. Boomer hours. Man, you guys better be careful what the fuck you say in chat because, like, at the tip of a hat, the, the, these words turn into memes. You know, Joel gets meaner every day. Fucking Joel, you sound soggy and, and whatever. Like, ugh, Jesus, man. <laughs> All right. Joel, Joel is 40 years old, leave him alone. Like, people literally think I'm 40 years old, and it's like, dude, I'm I'm literally half half that age. <laughs> yeah, Morrowind was a good game. All right, anyway. Boomer hours. Sorry. All right. Let's get it on screen and all that jazz. So. You know what I'm missing Windows 10? Well, I haven't switched yet. I'm holding on to 7 until the very last moment, but... Uh, you know what I really, really miss? I really miss the ding, ding, ding sound effect. That's going to be the hardest twitch for me, man. Once that goes... <sighs> no reason to use Windows anymore, man. All right, anyway, let's uh, get it on screen and all that jazz. So. There we go. All right. Whoa. Computer lag here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Computer's doing something now. Hang on. Wait, 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 wait. Close this down. Hang on. What, CPU at 100%? What's going on here? What, what's it doing? Huh? Hang on, hang on. What? What's this jazz all about? Huh? What are you doing, computer? Jesus Christ. Firefox is at like five gigahertz. <laughs> that's uh, that's bizarre. We fix that up. Well, everybody, this has been a weird introduction to a stream tonight. A hundred percent CPU and just completely shitting out. What gives? All right, let's just make sure everything is right here. All that jazz, blah, 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 blah. All right, there we go. What the fuck was all that about? 100% CPU or Firefox? Man, man, I hate computers. Someone actually said to me uh, yesterday, why don't you work in computers, Joel? I'm like, because I, I don't have any patience. Uh, work at computers. Come on, me, me. Let it be known that this person also suggested this because they... Uh, they uh, saw me, or rather, we were, were, were we were biking home, and this person, uh, we met an acquaintance of this person. It's my dad, uh, and they were asking me, "Hey, do you know computers and stuff?" I'm like, "Yes," and dad says, "Well, ask Joel. He knows computers." Right? And uh, this person wanted me to because they had their uh, their child with them, and their child was playing Pokemon Go, and. Um, Basically, uh, this mom had paid for data networking, and uh, they didn't want their son to also use data networking, so they were doing twice pay. So they asked me, how do you make it so that the internet on my son's phone is shared with me? And I'm like, you put hotspot on. I'm like, how? And I did it. And, um, you know, I, I don't know. I'm going to let you guys ask. I'm going to let you guys ask yourselves if I'm greedy for saying this. Or rather, I didn't say this, but I kind of, you know. But anyway, so I, I'm like, here's what you do. Went into their phone. I'm like, oh, Bluetooth hotspot, blah, 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 blah. They're like, oh, my God, that's amazing. It took like 10 minutes to do because they had so much shit on their PC. But here's the thing. They immediately followed up with as soon as I fixed it. Well, you know, you have a couple of computers you can take a look at. 
it'd be great if you could come over and take a look at my computer that isn't working. And immediately in my head, I mean, is this greedy for thinking this? I'm just like, absolutely, but it'll cost you. Is that greedy? I didn't say that, but I, I, I felt internally like that's going to take a lot of, you know. No, no. Yeah, plural, a couple computers, you know. So I, I figured, all right, I'm down to clown, but, you know. Because here's the thing. You know what pisses me off? You know, here's, here's, what, here's what pisses me off, right? I hate the fact that in my youth, everybody was over at my dad's place, friends and stuff like that, and they always got paid for these things. But when I ask for money for doing favors, I am suddenly greedy and an asshole. You know what I mean? Like, ah! It's like everybody else gets away without fucking doing a favor and getting money for it. But when I do it, it's like, Joel, there are friends. I'm like, yeah, but money is my friend. <laughs> Sorry, rant over, but like, god damn it. It's always like that. Everybody else gets like a free pass at that stuff. I'm like, did you fucking. Sp- 10 bucks. 10 bucks and I'll fix all your computers, but please. I don't have all the time in the world. I got Morrowind to play. All right. Anyway, let's let's do this for real. Maybe they can pay me an exposure, whatever that meme is, right? Oh man, I swear to God. All right. Anyway, let me do this. I'm gonna do that. Hopefully, it's a little bit better now. Yes, it is. All right. Alright, the adventure of Cobb Salad continues. All that jazz, you know it. Wind chimes. <laughs> you said the uh, dark elf go. <laughs> Alright, wonderful. Wonderful. We are back. Alright, let me just adjust the volume too. All that jazz. Alright, so we are back with Morrowind, as I said. Um, Last time we did a fighter's guild quest where we um, went into a necromancer lair and fixed some shit up. But right now, uh, we're going to be talking to some Ashlanders and stuff like that. Uh, because, you know, Caius basically revealed to us that uh, I was sent to Morrowind for one reason. I kind of fit the description of uh, fulfilling the Ner- Nervarine prophecy, which, um, you know, also coincidentally is what the Ashlanders here and most of Morrowind is kind of waiting for. Um, the Nervarine, of course, being. Uh, the uh, reborn, I guess, mess- messiahistic figure of the Nerevar, which uh, defeated Dagoth Ur at Red Mountain some time ago. And they're gonna basically, as I said before, Nerevarine is kind of like Dark Elf Jesus. So uh, it's kind of like a, you know, messiah thing going on. But uh, anyway. Regardless, uh, so we have a couple of things to do today, but before I start, I want to correct something that I, that I mistakenly referred to at uh, yesterday's stream, yesterday, last time stream. Marwin does have level scaling, but it is not completely devoid of level scaling. There is some parts of this game that level scales, but nowhere near to the effect where Oblivion and Skyrim does it. Um, the level scaling here is more subtle. Um, for example, if you're on a Daedric Shrine, um, you might notice a little bit more enemies as the higher level you go but there are some areas in this game that are strictly forbidden where like if you cannot take the heat get the fuck out you know but uh generally the game is 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 mostly level scaled down you know it has small 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 parts of it but um again it was done way better in this game i think but uh, yeah joel the audio is distorted uh sorry to hear anyway let's see here um let's check our journal today Darius Adrian is dead. Uh, thank me for helping her kill this necromancer. I agree to fight with Aline. We must finally kill blah, blah, blah. Anyway, in my dreams, a tall figure in a golden mask spoke to me. Lord Nervar Indoril. There's a long forgotten forged anew. Three believed, belied you. Three betrayed you. Once you betrayed was three times true. Lord Voran Dagoth, Dagoth Ur, steadfast leechman, faithful friend, bids you come and climb Red Mountain. Beneath Red Mountain, once again, break your bounds, shed cursed skin, and purge the Angrav from Narrowind. There's an enemy around here. As I was reading this, 
I swear to God, if it's a fucking cliff race or something, but it's a uh, interesting. Well, that led nowhere. All right. But well, anyway, um, so last time we did this, we were instructed by uh, a former Ashlander here to. Um, well, we're more so. We're more so instructed by Caius to take a little bit more info on what's all going on here. And let's see here, uh, Suma Tool. Here we go. Kai's promoted me to the apprentice rank in the Blades and gave me the Emperor's secret orders and ta told me to read them. The Emperor thinks the Neverine prophecies are genuine and that I may, may be the Neverine. I'm being sent to the Urshilaku camp to the speak with the head of the Neverine cult, Sul Matul and Nibani Meza. I'll tell them my story and I'll tell them to test me against the Neverine prophecies and report back to Caius. Cruelius Pontian gave me a selection of scrolls. So, uh, we also were at the, um, the Frostmouth uh, Legion campant. And fort, I guess. Uh, Frostmouth, I forgot what it's called. But we got some divine interventions. And again, this game does not have fast traveling, but there are ways around to kind of like doing your own fast traveling. And one of those things is you can do this. As you can see, you can quickly teleport to a nearby legion outpost or whatever. Uh, it is not like a perfect solution to fast traveling if you desire that. But it's a pretty a fast way to get the fuck out of places. Um, there are a couple of different... Um, Intervention scrolls here. Uh, there's all semi intervention, which allows you to go to a, um, uh, I believe, a nearby dark elf place. Uh, but this is more legion stuff, so uh, yeah. Uh, anyway, let's go back here because I'll be needing this if I'm going to be fast traveling a little, a little faster. But then again, we have the boots of blinding speed, which again I fixed up so we are running ridiculously fast. So. Anyway, uh, but for now, we need to be talking to some of these Ashlanders because, again, we are instructed to do so. Um, there's someone else you can bother. Let's talk to Shab and Bale. You come to talk, then talk, Outlander. Do you know any disturbing dreams? Speak to a wise woman. They know the lore of dreams. Hmm, what do you think of necromancy? I ask myself, do I like you enough to tell you about this? No, 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 no. It's a wise woman, huh? And I believe she is... And again, the, these Ashlanders have a lot of uh, tribal customs, I guess you would call. Um, and some of these things include, like, not entering without permission into these yurts and hovels. And I believe the uh, wise woman's thing is here. All right. Uh, there she is. Where is that slave? You're in the wrong place, Outlander. Leave now. Bu -bu 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 I thought, I thought. <laughs> Thoughtful gift. Do you want to offer me a gift? Good. I am not proud. I like gold. This is the custom you Outlanders call up bribe. Yes. God damn it, money with these people. Oh, damn it, I don't have enough. Wait, how much money do I have on me? 11. All right, well, I didn't even notice how much money I had on me before I went into these, uh... I mean, I can't... I, I guess I can kind of persuade them, but then again, they do like gifts, the uh, Ashlanders, so, uh... Hmm, and the nearest thing is Margon over here. Tell me, let's just run to Margon instead. I want to conserve my spells as much as possible here, but, uh, yeah. Anyway, uh... Let's see here. So today's goal will be that we're going to talk to the Ashlanders. We're going to get some of that done. We're also going to um, progress the story a little bit. Hey, hey, oh my god! Oh shit. Goddamn zombie. Shh, 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 shh. Stalker. Oh my god. So, uh, there's some zombies out here at uh, Red Mountain. It's a lot of disease and blight. Oh. Crazy. Alright, anyway. What was I saying? There's one more thing with the level scaling, though. And I, this is just a rum rumor. But I, I've, I've kind of kind of had to agree that maybe maybe this is true. I, I, I can't confirm or deny this, but... Um, 
I swear to God, once you go up a little bit more in level scaling, the, there's more cliff racers. I swear to God, the 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 this what do you call it? The the monster spawn lists go up as they go up. So uh, there is no level scaling in Morrowind. Ah, well, let me let me correct you on that. Um, if you go to Daedric shrines, I think I saw one. Oh, Jesus! There is level scaling in this game. Um, it's not. It's definitely more subtle than the. Uh, Jesus Christ, let me get some fatigue potions here. Um, there's a little bit of it. Uh, again, way, way more subtle than the other ones. But again, if you go to Daedric Shrine, there's different spawns. What the fuck? Um, if you're a high level, so... Um, Alright. Hey, speaking of, by the way. Well, 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 what's going on here? Oh, boy. So what he's got on is just some scam skin. Oh. I might be getting into alchemy later on in the game, but uh... oh Jesus, what the fuck! Well, I want I want that sword or whatever she's got. Flame thrown out! Oh God! Yeah, uh, I'm not gonna fuck with these these people right now. <laughs> Jesus, nope, no, I'm good, I'm good. All right. Let's see here. I'm actually going north here, and I was supposed to go south, so I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Yeah. Alright, anyway. Thank fucking God for these boots of blinding speed. Trekking through these, uh, these mountains and these... These ashy regions without them could be quite a, uh... Quite a thing to do, but again, with these boots, it's way easier to do, and my god, already I'm getting bombarded with, with cliff races, but, um... All right, let me just get through here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oop. And uh, once I'm in Margon, I'm gonna sell. Uh, I believe I have a Dwarven War Axe on me, which I'm gonna get a little bit more money out of. And once I do that, uh, we'll have enough money to bribe the um, the Ashlanders here. So, but uh, yeah, this place later, by the way. Is quite dangerous, by the way. I think I think we're actually going here in the later quest. It's actually good that I have this selected on the map, and I'm already going. I'm already going east again. What the fuck's going on with me, man? All right, Oop. let me go up here. There we go. I'm really glad that I fixed up these boots. I believe when people pe are speedrunning Morrowind, they use this technique of uh, the boots of blinding speed kind of thing. And I am going directly towards fucking uh, the center of this mountain here, which is. Uh, Probably the worst idea I can ever do. Uh, this is the ghost fence, but... Uh, Alright, let me just get a little creative here and kind of maneuver around this. There we go. Man, there are so many cliff versus already, my god. The strafing make you go faster? Uh, it's one of those things that I, I, I feel it is that way, but I, I don't know if that's really true. Um, I'll tell you one thing, CSGO surfing is in, boys. I shouldn't say CSGO surfing, I should say Counter-Strike surfing, because I was doing that shit in 1.6, boy. But, uh, I think it might be actually that you're going faster strafing. Um, yeah, I think so, I think so. I think there was another, uh, another game I tested it out and it was completely true. Again, it, it, it might be a little redundant that I'm, I'm doing this right now, just kind of going through the mountain like this, but I'm also exploring a lot of it, which we'll need later for uh, the quest stuff, because I, I, I really don't want to sit around with a wiki on the stream and just kind of like half read maps and also play the game, you know? I want to do it as smooth as possible, so... Oh, there's one. Let's play. Ooh, uh, spot the cliff racer. One cliff racer, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh. two cliff racer, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. What else do we have? A three cliff racer, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Come on, four cliff racers, five! Come on! Surely got some more. Oh, man, all right. We're almost at Margon here. All right. We got Gwar, another cliff racer. Hey, hey, guards, I brought a ton of shit with me. You guys want to deal with this? Hey, guard. Guard. 
you 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 probably should watch out. I'm I'm telling you, there's a fucking dinosaur here. Oh, you want me to deal with it? Assholes. Complete it. Oh, now! Now you send help up! Ooh! Ooh, there's a thousand fucking cliff races outside! Well, let me go fix this! Guess are assholes. Assholes. Alright, well, anyway. Let me sell some of this shit for some money. Oh, wait, she only has, like, eggs and stuff like that. Um, what would I want I need? Oh, I have this rare book, actually. No, she's not gonna, not gonna have that. Um, but I believe they have, like, a, like, a proper trade house or something. Yeah, you, you, you... Wait a minute, oh my god. I am a sleeper. One of my thousands. I bring you a message. That good Ur calls you cup salad. And you cannot deny your lord. The six house is risen, and they call this glory. I will listen to it outlander. Make it quick. Guys, there's a lot of shit happening outside, so, uh... <laughs> Alright, well... <laughs> <laughs> well, let me just... Let, let, let them deal with the, the local, uh, birds here. But surely, uh... Surely Margon here has some... Has some proper trade houses, or is it just inns? That might be the case. Okay, There's an outpost here, perhaps. Mm, but that's definitely not it. Hey, look at the Margon Cobb salad. I'm a Rosa Theron. Margon is a si the site of the Holy Tower Shrine, favorite place of pilgrimage for the Temple faithful. Uh, can I help someone in particular? Menace is the pu pu publican of Andalus Trade House. Uh, famous questing swordsman, monster slayers taking his lodging there while he hunts the blight creatures plaguing the village. Trails Rendas and Salen Ravel are the tribunal priests at the Tower Shrine. Alts Barrow, the smith, is ranking Redoran at the Margon outpost. So I believe this place does not actually have a pretty, um, pretty big trade house. So I might actually have to be forced to take a Sail Strider, uh, Speak, way instead. Well, hang on, hang on, hang on, let's not give up yet. There is the shrine here, but I don't think that is what we're looking for either. But oh my god, hello, full Daedric! Oh my god. Amanhera, if you're a pilgrim, read the inscription on the stupid rock. Oh, oh thanks! Magic Rock of Margon. Here, Meron's Dagon held his rock high above the Dunmer. Vivek taunted Meron's Dagon so that dragon threw the rock at Vivek instead of the people. Well, if you know anything about Elder Scrolls, you should know that Meron's Dagon, Dagon there we go, is uh, the bad guy in Oblivion. And again, Vivek, uh, as uh, questionable as he is at times, uh, he is, believe, a... Oh my god. Beneath the Red Mountain, Lord Dagon sleeps. When he wakes, we also rise in the dust will blow away. So every Lord Dagon the thirty-six of the uh, Shut up! Shut your mouth! Speak, traveler. Uh, he might be questionable, but he does have powers, and he did did indeed help the people of Morrowind. Where would you like to go? Sort of rock throwing from gods. Wait a minute! Do I have so little cash that I? Oh my God! All right, we actually might have to go to the trade house real quick here. Uh. There we go. But surely there's nothing else, all right. Are they questionable powers? I, I guess you could put it that way. Aaron does not have anything. Uh, do you have anything? No. Wait, hang on. Services, absolutely. Absolutely. Is there any services in town here? We have several priests, two at the Tower Shrine and one at the Margon Outpost. Hang on, let me do this right. We also have a way to run Smith, Master at Arms, Drillmaster, and <laughs> Scott at the Outpost. Man, say I don't sit the head of trade house, rent rooms, and sell foods and sundries. My pleasure, Cobb Salad. Alright, let's see here. What could I possibly sell her? That Perhaps some potions. Maybe some... Yeah, there we go. And some brandy. Let's sell this brandy. I'm gonna keep one, because I like to get drunk here. Uh, and I believe... I'm gonna have this common disease thing because I'm a rat, rat around the blight areas of the Red Mountain, which might give me a disease here, which is not very good, but um, l luck restoration, I don't need. We definitely don't need this fortify speed thing because I'm already like fast as fuck. 
Uh, and Flynn, Grief, uh, these things are gonna increase strength if I use them, so let's keep that, but definitely gonna keep the Restore Fatigue thing, because I wanna hit things in this game, and I also think that I can sell her... Uh, can I sell her this soldier? No. Let's push this up to 110. Alright, cool. Alright, now we got some money for the seal strata. Let's head back to a pretty... Pretty major city that allows me to trade them uh, weapons and stuff. Because this, this little outpost Margon does not, so... Alright. Take me to... Uh, Aldrin has some stuff. Buy egg. <laughs> Alright. The going to this place. I, 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 I... I accidentally refer to this place as like Ashlander um, architecture, but it's it's actually not Ashlander architecture. And this is the uh, this is the fighters guild actually. Let's see if I can sell some stuff here because I'm part of these guys. I, mean, I, I said this before, but goddamn, Jeremy Soul does his absolute best work in, in Morrowind. I think it's just it's just so good. ABCs for barbarians. Okay, this this is a hilarious book. Holy shit! Get ready for this one. A is for Atronach, B is for Bungler's Bane, C is for Comberry. That's the entire book. D is for Destroy. Okay. Hey, you got anything, stuff? <laughs> Did you just ask me if I seen any elves? All right, there we go. Let's sell all this stuff and uh, spark bolt drink. Um. No, absolutely not. I'm gonna sell that. Uh, let's get this up a little higher for this guy. Uh, 4 and 25 sounds pretty reasonable. And uh, let me sell some of my hammers here, actually. And uh, perhaps we can push it up and sell uh, anything else. Oh, I have some lock picks here that I'm probably never going to. Oh, you don't buy that item. That's right. <laughs> Because honestly, I said this before, but I don't like lockpicking in this game. I'm actually really lazy. I, uh, oop, oops. I can <laughs> He really liked, he really liked the shit I sold him. He's like, let me slip this on immediately. Hey, we both have shoulder, shoulder things. Aren't we cool, huh? Yeah. Anyway, I moved around this little bottle there, and I thought I was gonna get, get pissed because of that, but, uh, no. All right. Anyway, let's head back here. Uh, I think I think maybe 669 gold is enough for these Ashlanders to kind of spit out the uh, the facts. So, uh, all right. Well, do we need anything more on our travels here before we go? Um, it's almost every race just a type of elf. No, 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 no. Okay, uh, I know, I know. Elder Scrolls expert is gonna slap me for saying this, but um, the uh, the elves in this game basically are mare um the humans are referred to te biologically as well no that's bullshit cuz the orcs are also mare no 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 i'm talking shite i'm talking shite is it not mare uh, what are the beasts calling this? Uh, I know the humans have their own distinct kind of like, because Bretons and Imperials and Nords. Man and Mirror, right? But, but what is the beast called then? You know, probably, ah, you know what? Let's save all this money. We don't have, we don't know how much we have, so. Beasts are beast folk. Yeah, yeah, So the, not everybody here is uh, derivative from the, the elves biologically, I guess. But um, the Dunmer, you know. Um, you can hear it at the end, mer, you know. Uh, anyway, uh, we're going back to Margon here, and then we're just gonna, I think I'm gonna, gonna run. But I could go to cool real quick. Cool. Uh, let's do that. Let's get lazy, but let's be careful with the money here, because, you know. We make a special oh, it's Just foggy as fuck today. Same low price. Well, uh, whatever. I'll manage, I'll manage. Hey, Quam Worker, how you doing? Meow, meow. Kss, 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 kss. You forgot the egg. Okay, I'll buy plenty of fucking eggs next time, alright? Don't worry about it. Have you heard of the high elves? 
All right, let's see here. So we're going all the way there. Anyway, extract egg. Fine, I'll get some eggs. Don't worry, guys. Don't worry, guys. Um, ooh, a journeyman. Hey, Sasson, how you doing? Please can you help me. My wife has been taken by cultists. Oh, Jesus, really? Yeah, I'm sure that's who they are. We were traveling to visit friends near Al Veloti when some men surprised us. They cast me into a sorcerer's sleep. When I woke up, Malexa was gone. They probably taken her to perform some unholy ritual on her. Oh, really? I'm certain of it. Please, can't you help? I have very little to offer in return. Only 200 septims. Ah, bah, 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 bah. That's exactly what we need for the uh, Ashlanders. But I am a member of House Rederon, and I will make sure to let them know of the help you have given me. Will you help? I beg you. Guys, yes or no? Shall we have help poor Sasson and his wife? Yes. No. <laughs> All right. I can help. I'll try and find Malex and return it to you. Thank you. I'm sure they haven't got far, although I was incap... Incapacitated. Incapac... Incapac... Well, okay, word words. Incapacitated. That's English. I don't believe it was that long ago they took her. They're probably taking her to a shrine to perform the ritual. But there's one to the west. It's too horrible to think about that. Please hurry. True arms! Okay, no, that's that's not how Cobb Salad does this. If you want something, now's the time to talk. <laughs> Alright, let's head to the west. Um, let me put a little note here and say, uh, Guy wants his wife back. Two hondos. Wowie. The moolah. Wow. Because again, in Marwin, you can put a little, uh, little notes and stuff. So I'll remember, I'll be like, hmm, there's something over there. All right, I've never done this quest actually, so. All right. Oh, oh, hey, hey, Nick Sound, how you doing? Are oh, you dead? <laughs> Probably should have picked up a little bit more fatigue potions here, especially if I'm going to a th shrine. But uh, Var will I ever try more Oblivion? Uh, more Oblivion? Oh, but isn't that like on, on pause or whatever? Like they started doing it and then nothing came of it or something. Whoa, hey, hey, boys, 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 boys. I'm sure we can figure this out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the fuck's going on here? What's your fucking deal? What a dumbass. What the fuck? What, what was your problem? Mini son. More like Major Dead. What is your problem, huh? I mean, I'll spare your life. You don't have to die today. All right, well, sure. Uh, arrows. Now nah, I'm just gonna leave these idiots alone. Hey, hey, hey! Listen. Here's <laughs> what we're gonna do. You're gonna stop attacking me, get a haircut, and get a job. Or I guess not. Dumbass. Ooh, a little candle. Let's see what's in this urn. Some salt rice? Hell yeah. Hey, you boys were drinking and partying, huh? Oh, what the fuck these guys deal with? Were, they were. Oh, do I have any open. Uh... Yes, I do. Undoose is unhinging. Here we go. Wonderful 50 gold! I really do love this spell. Hey, let me sleep, sleep next to our corpse here. Okay, well... Anything else? <gasps> we got a bit of cuddle, it's not eggs, but we got some scales. Alright. And we're gonna keep trucking to the west here, and I... Could that be it? Could that be the place where they took her? This Daedric Shrine? Yoo-hoo. Again, I, I, there's a lot of, like, journeyman quests here where, like, people just ask you favors to do things and, you know. I don't know if this is the place, but uh, it might as well be. It's to the west and it's a Daedric Shrine, so. 
Oh, hello, scummy wizard. I don't think so. Who the fuck does this guy remind me of? He looks like someone. <laughs> he looks dead. I'll take that. Not the CBT wizard, goddammit. Somebody. Billy Mace. That's it. Fuck. Hey, speaking of Billy Mace, I'm actually kind of addicted to watching shitty infomercials that aren't even like that funny. But I was going on a binge yesterday. I was like in bed all day. I was feeling a little sick. And I was just watching infomercials like I did when I was like nine years old, pretending to be sick uh, from school. I, I I was just fucking binging on these, these commercials. Like the magic bullet and... Yeah, you, know, you fucking name it. Which, by the way, I believe everybody has seen. It's like that guy with the British accent and the smoking wife. The magic bullet. Okay. Dude, I was I was to this very day when I see magic bullets, I have an inclination to buy them because my part of my childhood is just magic bullet watching. Every day at Saturday morning or whatever, like <gasps> it's it's really early. Let's watch a magic bullet. Well, hello. What's going on here? <laughs> you know, Goddamn wizard fuck. God, I hope I pack enough potions for this. Okay, well his spells is meek and I will end his pathetic bloodline right here. You know, there's not you can escape now. I can work this out. Wait, hang on. Oh, you know what's funny? I have... The majority of my stuff... Well, I have medium armor, medium armor. But I have a heavy bracer. I have heavy, heavy, heavy... But I'm not equipped enough to actually utilize my heavy armor here. So when when I level up, the game is like, What the fuck are you wearing? Yeah, I just level up, actually, but that's funny. So I actually need to outfit myself properly soon. All right, there we go. Let me let me cheese this a little bit by going here and uh, sleeping outside, or resting rather. That's a word. Oh, a rat interrupted my sleep. All right. Anyway, now we've done this. Let's see here. We have an emerald. Ooh, I can sell that. Oh Jesus! What the? F oh Jesus! Whoa, 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 get the fuck out of it! Whoa, Jesus! Ooh. Ow! You didn't tell me guy in fucking Daedric could show up. Hmm! Okay, well, if that's, if that's how we rock and roll, so fucking be it. I'm coming. Oh, I'm coming. You know what I look like when I hold this? I look like the fucking Constanza, Constanza meme with the fucking baseball. <laughs> Hang on, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Alright. So we have a fucking Daedric dude roaming around. Allow me to be a complete idiot here for a second, but, uh... That was just a summon, right? That wasn't like a full guy in Daedric armor. That was just a Daedra. I sometimes forget what the, uh, the, the, uh... The Daedra looked like. Yeah. He's real? That, well, okay. That doesn't sound right. Oh, here we go. Okay, so we're gonna actually... Get some greaves on here because yeah, I don't know why the fuck I'm not equipping those. <laughs> what the fuck was going on? Let's well, see, that is a left bracer, but my right one is actually right. So I'm wearing the right thing. So armor rating 20, armor rating 20. Okay, so this one is not good. So I'm gonna switch it out for a left pauldron here. There we go. And um, what else? Taiwa, I love being shirtless, but it's time to just kind of. Just for this area, because it might be a little too dangerous for me, so... Let's look around here, what we got? We got a steel tower shield that I'm... I can't actually equip because I'm using two-handed stuff. 
Oh, I'm sorry, Dremora, that's their name. They're not fucking just Daedra, they're specifically Dremora. So, you're missing a gauntlet? Wait, wait, wait. Ooh, uh. But you, you're talking shite. You're talking shite. I have this bracer, dude. What are you talking about, son? I had, I had to be like, I had to double check. I'm like, double take. Like, wait a minute. Yeah. <laughs> Looks so goofy. Alright, let's see here. Oh, they're having a little dinner here. Oh, tanker, I'll take that. Ancient Daedra key. There we go. Okay, anything here that I can use. Uh, again, I'm, I might be getting to alchemy later on in the game, which allows me to fuck with things in certain ways, but uh, alright, so that was a Dremora. That was not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. But hopefully the, these are the guys that uh, took uh, what's his name? Wife again? It's around here somewhere, but uh, oh man. <gasps> Is that you? Malexa! No, you look like trouble to me. no, I'm actually gonna help you, alright? Sessas has sent you. Thank you, I'll follow you out of here. Alright, awesome. So where the fuck are you here? Concerning uh, concerning this, I can only speak to a friend. What the fuck are you talking about? I saved your goddamn life. Well, well some thanks. Wow. Hey, are you okay, Alexa? Come on. There we go. You know I should I should you know what I should do? I should stab them both when I'm done with this. But that's not how Cobb Salad rolls because he's a he's a good boy. You should persuasion. Well, my speechcraft is sucky in the game, so if I, even if I attempt to admire her, be like, Hey, she's gonna be like, keep it up and see how much I like you. Cobb Salad just went like, wow, you eyes are so beautiful. They are like chupa chups, and you are so beautiful and stuff. Hey, Melexa, where'd you go? Melexa, come on. <laughs> come on. Can I say that I hate escort stuff in any video game? They're never done right. And especially in Morrowind or... Because I, I swear to God, half of the times you just feel like they get lost and it just fucks up and... Uh, especially cause, uh, considering I have the boots of blinding speed, which makes me go, you know... Speed. Which is really annoying because I'm gonna have to like stop every... Every couple of moves here to make sure that he, she's actually falling. So it's actually be better if I just walk like this. That's how stupid it is. Whoosh! Here it comes. Well, you really helped, huh? Okay. Um, fortify speed levitate is a necessity for escort missions. For in this, I never thought about that. Yeah, you could give your fucking escort uh, buddies like uh, escort buddies sounds like I'm talking about prostitutes. Yeah, I'm gonna make this whore levitate and fly. No, but, oh my god, that's right, you can actually make people levitate. Okay. Do not levitate your whores. That's why I don't want to call you a whore. But you're probably horrible at following my path here. <laughs> Sorry, that was a prostitute joke. L let me make the awkward silence of nobody laughing by playing my whore Monica. That's a camp. Oh, e e yeah, she's following. Okay. Well, let me get through here. Come on. Come on. I don't know. Is this worth 200 septums? I don't know. But you better hurry up. Hey, this is the path of the corpses. I, I know where I've gone because of this. Hey. Shh. Yeah, run or die, exactly. I'm glad you got the message. No, don't get stuck on a tree now. Okay, where where are you at, man? It was really foggy when I did this, so I'm having a little trouble navigating. Like, don't, don't, I still get eggs. I still get eggs, chat. Okay, it's serious to talk, though. Uh, when I'm doing alchemy stuff later on... Uh, what do the Kwama eggs do, in, in potentially in a potion? 
Uh, uh, I think they might give you restore fatigue. Maybe. Perhaps. Oh, there you are. There you are, man. Hey, I brought your wife. I'm a busy guy, so if you could hurry this up. You fucking asshole. You know how much trouble I went through? I'm a busy guy. Anytime you're ready. Just don't keep me waiting. Oh, yeah, yeah. I just gotta wait for your wife here. Where's my wife? Dom! Where's my wife? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Not this again. I swear to God, if she got in a fight or something like that... She was just right behind me! Where'd you go? The rats didn't eat her, I hope. Wait, I have an idea! I thought I was gonna, like, lure her to where I was by fighting a rat. Now, where the fuck did she go? Come on! Oh, come on! What the... She didn't get stuck on a tree, did she? Oh, come on, man. Oh. Shut up. I'm just slaughtering Fauna in anger. She's dead? She's not dead. Doesn't help that it's super dark. The game is still really dark. I, I, seriously, I, maybe it's just my end, but I don't see the game that dark, and I know, like, ha ha ha, one guy, okay, hang on, let me turn it up. Let me turn it up for you. Is that better? Is that a little bit better? Yes, okay, gotcha. Okay, well, I cannot find her. She is completely gone. What the fuck? Where's my Alexa? Where the fuck is Malexa? Oh, this is taking so much time out of the stream. This is ridiculous. All right, I'm gonna have to backtrack my, my path that I went here. All right. I went here. I swear, if I see your lifeless corpse out on the streets. I went her here. Yeah. Let me just backtrack. This is how I find real life. If I f lose my credit card or key or whatever, I used to do this. We went here, and then... What the fuck? Then I went here. I... Man! She's completely gone! She's completely gone. She's just following me. What the fuck is this? I'm seriously thinking that Malexa might have died. Wait, I have the upper hand? Wait. I saw a little bit of dialogue popping up. Maybe she's around. Malexa! 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 Hey, hey, hey! Hey! <laughs> Where the fuck are you? Your husband's right there! Dude, what? She's, she's so somewhere, obviously, but... <laughs> Alexa, wake up. Wake up, please. She must have gotten stuck on something. I don't know where the fuck she is, but... This is infuriating! Where the fuck is she? The quest from Alexa. Unbelievable. I saw her dialogue pop up though. Well, I thought that was her, but... Uh... Okay, I'm gonna have to... <gasps> what the fuck? You're right there hiding in the tree! 
What are you doing? Please let us travel together and find my husband. He's right there! Fucking hell, Alexa! Alexa? Dude. You're beaten. Well, you're really helping, you know that? I don't know if this was worth 200 septums. I gotta be honest. Hey, how about you do it? Malexa, punch this dinosaur in front of your husband. I hate her. I really hate her. Let me fix something in the chat. We have more dinosaurs. Hey, hey, hey! How about you help? How about you help your your your, your wife, huh? Good go Lord. All right. Well, let me let me heal up here. I, I like to. She's one of those people that do nothing and then pretend that they really helped. All right. Thanks. Hey, what gives? Come here. Wait, is there like a pathing issue? What's going on here? No, oh, come on. I found your wife. Thank the gods you found her. I can only imagine what those bastards had planned for my Alexa. Please take me your award, and I'll make sure to let House Raider know the service you performed for me today. Thank you again. Okay, I'm listening. <laughs> Listen here, Jackass. Listen here, you fucking piece of shit. Do you even know? Save for you, okay? Save for you. Dude, her eyes are up there. Cops, y'all. What the fuck? All right, whatever. whatever. <sighs> All right. Um. Anyway, hang on. Um. Hey, do you mind sharing the ramen shop you ate? I think Akihabara. Or oh yeah, yeah. Um. Haruka is in in Akihabara. Is is my go-to uh, place, and they they do something called men soba. Which is apparently a Taiwanese twist on soba noodles, and it's seriously the best food I've ever had. Alright, now that we have all this money, sorry for that deviation there, but um, we also need to rest up here in a second, because we just leveled up. Alright, I'll get some fucking eggs. I'll get some eggs, don't worry. You guys aren't going to be pissed because uh, I'm exploring here, right? You're an egg mine, Outlander, so be careful. Quama war foragers and warriors won't attack miners, since they're used to do use our smell. But they attack intruders, and if you smell like an intruder... Okay. Let me just, uh... Get some eggs. Sorry. Excuse me. <clears throat> you will suffer greatly. Yo, 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 okay, okay. You know what? You know what? Eggs have to wait. What the fuck, guys? What the fuck? I just want to get some eggs, all right? Um, to do, to do. Well, how about you? What's going on? You like eggs? Suddenly, well, wasn't as bad as I thought, but have you heard any rumors? Have you noticed that for all his proclamations about protecting the rights of property and preserving law and order, the Imperial leading does little enough to capture and per persecute abolinists? Abolinists? That's a bit hypocritical, don't you think? Abolin... Abol... Bruh. Abol... Abolinists. Abolinists. Alright, so this, this egg mine is full of bastards, and I, I have no desire to go in there, so... I'm just gonna go... Rest out in the wild here. If rats aren't trying to kill me... Alright, thanks. Alright, this is a little encampment, I can just... Take an hour to, uh... Do this. Uh, oh yeah, I gotta find a little house to do this. Hey, Broody. Hey, Broody. You're a Nord as well, huh? Would you mind if I uh, rest in your bed? You don't mind that? Alright, thanks, man. Level 4. 
All right, let's see here. Uh, I'm gonna put a little bit into uh, willpower because I need a little bit more fatigue to uh, hit accurately. I'm gonna go a little bit more agility, I think. And how about we go strength as well? I mean, probably personality too, because we can probably do a lot with that. Um, Mmm, affects your ability to deal with other characters how much you like you. Well, I kind of just bribe them anyway, so it's like, whatever. Um, affects your starting health, your health again, and your maximum fatigue. Well, uh, I don't know. Hmm. Perhaps more endurance here. I think you're starting to tell, tell what? Willpower, agility, because again, I, I do want to use some magic soon. I want to use some more magic, and I, I rather not like save scum entirely, because... Basically, uh, to make sure that you're uh, spell making, not spell making, spell casting is accurate and helps. Uh, hang on, wait a minute. Anthro saying, Chan wants you to turn to turn turn up and Chan wants you to turn up and turn to gamma. Also, make sure to turn up, turn up and turn down the audio. Zephyr, what? What are you guys saying? Anthro, are you intent? What the fuck are you saying? Joe, Chance wants you to turn up and turn down the gamma. Also, make sure to turn up and turn down the audio, too. Anthro, are you fucking with me? What are you saying? No, not one guy. Not one guy, because Anthro... I trust Anthro. Yes, okay, he's fucking with me. Okay. Wait, shut the fuck up, dude. <laughs> anyway, um... Yo, know, when you're casting spells, you need fatigue. Fatigue. That's specific... That's based on this, so I will have willpower, but I will also get this fucking strength. All right. Wait, no, I've already made my selection. Sorry. Ah, ah. Let's get this instead. There we go. All right, now we're level four. So what? This stream? I mean, okay, l l let's stop doing one, one, one guy jokes for just just a split second. All right, just let's drop this irony if if if, if you are physically able to do so. The stream looks okay, right? Like, it's not like it's too dark or too bright or whatever. It's too bright during the day. How are Gamma? It's too bright now. Oh, Jesus. Why the fuck can't this Morrowind look okay on your end? <laughs> so, more Gamma like this. A little bit, maybe like five, and then maybe turn this down. No more. It's fine, okay. Fucking hell. Seriously, I'm starting to really resent this one guy shit, because it's like... I get I, I get the comedy behind it. I, I get it. It's funny. But at times I feel one guy is... Also... Devoid of humor in a way where we're, we're wasting time for no real punchline. You know what I mean? It's like... Ah... Uh, like, I get it. I do, but... You know... I don't know. Anyway. Joe, that's fine. Well, so be it, but... There's a lot of people that say that, oh, it looks bad, and blah, 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 blah. So it's like... Hey, speaking of looking bad, what the fuck? Well, welcome to Marwin, everybody. Uh, uh, what a... What a... What a grand and intoxicating experience. No, no, please, 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 destroy my life. Hey, come in, join in. No, no, please, more. Blow up, more, more, please. Fucking hate this game. Fucking hate this game. No, no, go. Kitty cat, kitty cat. Hey, 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 hey. More, please! Uh. <laughs> oh, what's that? More? <laughs> Uh, 
la 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 la. Power walking. Oh, the game crashed. <laughs> Fuck him. Well, welcome tomorrow, when everybody. It gets it, it, it. That's not even like the worst of it, honestly. It, it gets even crazier at times. Reflect twenty. What? Huh? Wait, what? What happened there? Fail to load spell Reflect 20. Continue. What? Fail to load immune to normal weapons. What? Excuse me? Okay, I guess the game's fine though. Your mods are bust. Which mods? <laughs> well, that was weird. I'm gonna have to verify the game files. I'm not using this on Steam. Okay, well... Bad PC. I don't know what the fuck happened. Make a new file just in case. I uh, probably... Uh, uh, worry. <laughs> Alright. Uh. Well, I hope I hope the game isn't. Oh my god! Uh, you know, you know, you know. I I I did that for a joke where I stood st still and did nothing. But now I'll actually have to like kill them all. So, uh, am I using Open Morrowind? No, no, I'm not. Using default with uh, patches and a graphic extender, so I can see a little farther. So, all right. You install them from my CD. Yeah. Alright, anyway, I don't know what the fuck that was all about. Really weird. Alright, let me get through here. I love, I love the Dwarven <laughs> architecture. It looks so cool. It looks like something I would probably make in Dwarf Fortress. Really neat. Cliff Racer mode. We should get a Cliff Racer mode, huh? Think you have a stream Daggerfall? Uh, what's my opinion of it? Um, I like Daggerfall a lot. Uh, maybe stream it one day? Because, you know, you have the Unity Daggerfall thing coming up, but... Uh, yeah, oop, console. Oh, shit. Here we go again! Here we go again! Holy shit, I synced that up to the cliff racers like... Maybe they're saying, here we go again. But... Uh, Probably Daggerfall after this. I want to do all the Elder Scrolls games, in fact. Probably... Here's what we'll do. We'll do Morrowind here. We'll do all the expansion packs. And uh, once we're done with... Oh, look at that! It's... Uh, blah, 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 what are they called? Uh, Clan Fierce. Oh. Fuck, they... They're kicking my ass. Oh, oh, wait a minute. There we go. I'm running around so goddamn much. Uh, we'll do Morrowind. And then... Uh, fuck, is that... Do I not have any more restore fatigue things? Shit, I don't. Oh, fuck, I might be screwed here. Escape! I don't have enough fatigue to do this. No, but we'll do Morrowind and like, all the expansion packs. And then we'll probably do Daggerfall. And after that, Skyrim, I guess? Alright, sorry to bring up Mill and Cliff races your, your way, but... <gasps> hey, it's him! Fire Beetle. What about arena? Maybe arena one day. Oh shit, here he comes! He's gonna get me! What are you looking at, man? Oh shit, th there he goes! I don't know if I have enough fatigue to hit him with this, but... No, I'm fucked. Fucked. I'm fucked. I need more fatigue. Alright, let's try that again. I'm gonna hide inside. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. The game's like seriously glitching up now. What, yo, what, what gives? Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, what the fuck? Oh, yo, what? Is it still doing that? A superpower. 
I don't know what the fuck that was all about. Alright, quick save though. I think the game's alright, it's just <laughs> hiccuping. Let me get, get this cliff racer, cliff racer out of the way. Okay, my, my game is now doing something really irritating. The mouse is like going outside the screen. I fucking hate when the mouse doesn't lock in. Oh my god! Like, the, the game is pausing because I, like, the, the mouse hits the chat. Hey, thank you so much, Dilbert Time. Oh, this is unplayable. What the fuck's going on, man? Maybe we can alt enter this real quick. No. Okay, I'm gonna restart the game real quick. What the fuck's going on? Irritating. Real irritating. Had like two bugs happen. <laughs> Alright. Uh, Joel, you should consider the Enderal mod for Skyrim. It essentially, uses the engine turned into a whole new game. Really. Alright, there we go. Now we're better. Okay, now we're better. Everything's good now. Sorry, that was like a weird, uh, weird thing that just happened. But anyway, now we have all this money. Let's see the wise woman. Hey, let me sleep. Let that let this weird stranger covered in like bug juice and, and blood from cliff racers come in and, and talk to you about being the uh, the messiah, essentially. Alright. Will you say you are deaf or stupid or ru rude? How do you explain? I have told you. You are in the wrong place. I told you to leave, but you're still here. Well, guess what I have? Money. Do you want me to offer me a gift? Good. I am not proud. I like gold. This is the, this is the custom you have call a bribe. Yes. Ten. I hope this works. Ten. You're too kind, Cobb Salad. Very well, Cobb Salad. I'll see what can be done. One more. One more. Ah, oh, shit. You cannot purchase honor with gold, Muscle Man, sir. Well, I sure can. I sure can. There we go. Well, Cobb Salad, if you insist, I must not refuse. All right. Are we a little bit more help now? I actually think I actually am in the wrong place. I need to talk to Sulma Tool first, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm actually, <laughs> I'm actually in the wrong. I'm being actually really rude in a Ashlander custom here. Because again, you gotta talk to the right people in the yurt. Entering a yurt without permission is like basically spinning on them. So, so I'll talk to uh, Shalath here. You come to talk, then talk, Atlander. Yes. You want to speak with Sulma Tool? You want to speak with Nibiana Meza? Have they sent for you? Yes. I have not heard of this, so go find it. Someone else has. Okay. So I guess Sulma Tool first. Uh, oh, they might kill me if I do this, so I gotta be careful. Um, I'm sure someone someone else else to else. Hey, I will, I will hear you talk, Atlander. Have they sent for you? Well, not really. If they have not sent for you, then you will not speak for them. You are an Atlander. Suma Tool is her chief. Anybody is a wise woman. They won't speak to you. Hmm. Let's see here. I wonder what I could do here. Uh, I forgot how you do this. Maybe I should talk to this. Maybe I should bribe this person for no. I don't. <laughs> the, the, these Aslanders, they they are quite. <laughs> What's the word? They're full of themselves because they love their old religions, but they are also greedy. So they're arrogant, I guess. All right, ash hippies. All right, well, anyway, uh, pompous assholes. Yeah, I guess that's the word. All right, well. So we gotta talk to Sulma Tool first, though. I guess I'll ask him about him. Uh, well, he doesn't know anything. Hey, hey, Nab, do you know anything about Sulma Tool? Thoughtful gift. Do you want me to offer a gift? Uh. Why do you, you know, I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna gift this guy a little bit of. Did I just give him a hundred? Oh, Jesus. Right. 
Here we go. I will hear you talk, Outlander. Here we go. You are an Outlander. You wish to talk to one of our never uh, talk of the Nerverine prophecies. You are polite and well mannered. I sure am, for an Outlander. Oh. <laughs> and I do not think you mean to give offense. But why should you care about the Nerverine prophecies? What does an Outlander have to say to a uh, Urshalak of the Nerverine prophecy? Say I fulfill the Nerverine prophecies and wish to speak with Sulma Tool and Ibani Meza. Say I know little and I am curious. Here we go. I do not believe what I'm hearing. You think you're the Neverine, and you wish to speak to Sul Matul and Ibane Mesa. You do not look like a Neverine, but you do not speak like a fool or a madman. This is a puzzle. I tell you, go speak with Sab Sabamund in, this in his yurt. He is a Gulakan, Sul Matul's champion, and he will decide what's right. If Zabamund gives you permission, then you may enter the Ashkan's yurt and speak with Sul Matul. All right, well, oh boy, oh boy. There we go. How much money did I lose because of that? Hey, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Alright, I've been told to go speak with Zebamund, a Gulakan. Sulmatul's champion in his Zebamund's Seba yurt. If Zebamund gives me permission, then I may enter the Ashkan's yurt and speak with Sulmatul. The wise woman was really... <laughs> like... She was really offended that I went in there because, again, you need permission to enter this yurt. And I just went in and went, Hey! Hey, I'm, I'm the margarine or whatever. Listen. I come, <laughs> I come in peace and I slaughter shit. I'm the Jesus. I'm Dark Hell Jesus, y'all. All right. So she's just like, get out. All right, let's see. Here's Sabamund. Here he is. Hey, Amen. Talk, Outlander. Speak with respect and I will listen. Zulmatu will not talk to you. Nibane Mesa will not talk to you. You have no standing amongst us, Outlander. Well, what if I give you a gift? You do not understand these things. Oh, I sure don't. I suppose we can talk more. Well, that's thoughtful, Cobb Cell, and I'll take it into consideration. Very well, Cobb Cell. I'll see what can be done. Well, Cobb Cell, if you insist, I must not refuse. Talk, Outlander. Speak with respect. Okay, may maybe maybe a little bit more. You are generous, Cobbsella, and your judgment is good. You have no standing amongst us, Outlander, but you speak well and with respect. So I will explain. It is against your customs that an Outlander should speak to an Ashkan or a wise woman. I'll tell you also that Sulma Tool has no love for Outlanders. Why, well, shit. What about this little camp? This is Urshalaku Camp, Outlander. Hmm. Oh, damn. Hmm. I guess I. Zebamund here is not agreeing at all, but. Um, hmm. Perhaps. Perhaps. I just gotta talk to him with the Nerverin prophecies. There we go. The Nerverin prophecies are not for Outlanders. Why should Sul Matul and Iban and Mesa speak to you about these things? What are you? <laughs> Who are you? That we should trust you. Offer to fight a duel to the death for the right to speak with Sulma Tool. Jesus. Boast of my murder deeds and demand the re to speak to Sulma Tool. Or tell all tell all I have learned of the six tales and the Neverine and ask humbly to speak Sulma Tool. Offer to pay a tribute tribute of 200 gold to speak. Well, I'll tell you what. This seems the most reasonable here. Alright. All that may be true, and I'm sure you think it is very important, but it has nothing to do with us, at least, not the way you tell it. I'm sorry, but I will not let you bother Sul Matul and Bonnie Mesa with this. Oh, shit. How about, uh... Guys, we might have to actually fight him to the death about this. Uh, but 200 gold is a lot of money. Mm. Tell what, let's... You say please. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah! Uh, you didn't say the magic word! Fight, 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 fight! <laughs> hey, Mike! What's poppin', man? Hey, shit! <laughs> hey, glad to see you in chat, man. Glad I was watching a lot of... I was binge-watching a lot of, uh... James and Mike Mondays. Um, I, I just had, like, a whole day off yesterday where I just, like... Just watching it the entire day, so... I just wanted to say, man... You make fantastic content, and I again, I mean, you, you know how much I gush over 
of your 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 the time and effort you put into these things but once again i just wanted to say like you make incredible stuff man i i just wanted to kind of gush here a little bit but uh yeah anyway hey great stuff once again <laughs> anyway uh i don't know offer to pay a tribute of 200 gold to speak with suma too I, I guess i'll just do that Yes, a gift of 200 gold coins. That is an earnest proof of your respect. Yes, I believe you should speak to our sh Ashcon. Perhaps it will be angry with me. <laughs> uh, what one did you watch? I actually started watching from... Um, fuck, what is it called? It's It, it was... Um, it was that one that was... It was like James's first game. It was like not the most recent one, but I was watching... Oh, fuck, what was it called again? really old game of his like he he like his childhood game and i was watching up until like uh i think rygar so i was just watching a ton of stuff uh but i'm going through them chronologically you know which it's really funny because sometimes i miss on mondays a new video and i'm like yes i missed one because then i can like watch triple videos you know so anyway um anyway Let's see here, uh, Kamida. Go to ask him, you're gonna speak with Soma to ask him a question and tell him I've sent you. All right. Uh, what do you want of me, Outlander? I don't know, man. No, I think it was called. No, it wasn't. It was not Action 52. Round 42. That what? That's what it was. Round 42. There you go. Yes. Yes. Crazy game too. Anyway, let's see. I was persuaded Zuma Mund that I must speak to Zuma Tool. That I must go to Tasking Skirt and tell Zuma Tool that as everyone. Okay, so here we go. The uh, Zanmu Skirt, Ashkan Skirt. Here we go. You know, I'm gonna tell you guys a little funny thing about this guy. I'm sure there's someone else you can buy. This guy right here. <clears throat> Look how tiny he is. Okay. Uh, this guy really wants a wife, and there's a quest in this game that is hysterical. Basically, um, later in the game, you're gonna have to convince him that, hey, you're the guy. You're the uh, Dark Elf Jesus that everybody's talking about. But he's like, I'm not convinced, alright? He's gonna cross his arms and go, uh-uh, asshole. So what you have to do is you have to, you have to go and buy him a wife. It's really funny. He says, basically, I want, like, royalty. Like, I want the best, best royalty woman you can find for me, and then marry me. But here's the thing you do, actually. You go to, to a local slave shop, you buy this, like, random, like, dark elf slave, and you, you give her perfume and a dress, and you trick him. And he's like, wow, royalty! And in reality, well, she's just some, like, some, some dark woman. Anyway, so my champion, Zebamon, has sent you to talk about the Nevering Prophecies. Then go ahead, Cobb Salad, talk. I am very curious. You think you fulfill the Neverian prophecies. You wish to be tested to see if you're the Neverian. No, Atla no, no Atlander may join the Neverian cult. If you were a clan friend, an adopted member of the Ashlander tribes, then perhaps I have an initiation rite in mind. If you pass this rite, I will adopt you as a clan friend of the Ashlanders. Then I will submit you to the Dima submit you to the Mari Meza, or wise woman, who is skilled in oracles and mysteries, and we will test you against the prophecies. All right. To be adopted into the tribe, you must undergo a harrowing, harrowing English. And a harrowing, you will be judged by the spirits and ancestors to see if you are worthy. Go to the Lock burial cavers and fetch me Sul Zinipul's bone biter bow. Sul's. These names sound like fucking next generation names. Jesus Christ. Fucking hell. Like Klingon names. Sul <laughs> Zenipool was my father, and his spirit guards his bone mold long and bow deep down in the burial cavers. Return to me with this bow, and I will adopt you into the Ashland tribes as a clan friend. All right. Uh, let's just see where this is first. Uh, initiation right in the. Well, actually, he told me here. Uh, here we go. It's the Urshalaka tribe burial chambers. All right. Come on, uh, James and Mike Mondes, if you're in town. Dude, listen, Mike, nothing would make me more happy. There's one problem with that, though. I live across the entire world. <laughs> I could not be more farther from America. Um, I would love nothing more than to uh, pop in. You know, it would be amazing, really. But uh, I live in Sweden. Um, <laughs> if I had... 
if I had the time, I would be there in a heartbeat. The problem, though, is that uh, I would be like a... I'd be like a child that had too much sugar. I would just be sitting there in the couch going like, I can't fucking believe it's you guys! Oh my god. Take a bird of prey. <laughs> hey, I don't know if you saw this, uh, Mike, but... I was gonna suggest this. I A while ago, I actually streamed Star Trek Klingon, one of those, like, FMV games from... Uh, the mid-90s? And, uh... It's got Garon in it. It's, it's like a fully... fully shot thing and everything. Um... Uh, there's Star Trek Klingon, there's Star Trek Borg... Uh, and uh, it's got John Landis in it. It's 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 pretty legit too. But uh, the Klingon game isn't that great. But I was gonna suggest uh, that maybe you should stream it uh, if you haven't already. Uh, it's a really really cool treat. Anyway, we need to go to these burial uh, grounds. Did he did he not tell me exactly where it was? Some of the Urshala burial caves to fetch me. I I don't. I use a clip from that on my stream often, with the war song. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah, I think I missed that, but that's incredible. Um, it's one thing that's really bothered me. These, these are little things I get really hooked on, but... Well, hooked on, I get really stuck on, I suppose. I always hated that, I think with Star Trek... Uh, fuck, which Star Trek movie is it that has the intro with the no gravity scene? And the Klingon blood is purple. And... If you watch Next Generation, on actually, um, Deep Space Nine, there's a scene where they see who is the changeling, and they cut their hand, and, you know, red Klingon blood comes out. Now, in the movie, it's purple. And in the, in the game, it's also, like, purple-pink. So, um, it's like, it's like, uh, it was Star Trek VI, alright. It's always bothered me, I'm like, damn it, why can't you keep it the same? Anyway, we're trying to get back here because I really need to ask the uh, the uh, the guy here about exactly what this burial chamber is. There we go. Anyway, let's see here. Yes, excuse me. You told me to go to this burial chamber, and I totally forgot where it was. All right, burial chamber, huh? Here he is. <laughs> I totally forgot. He's like, go do this thing, do it. I'm like, okay, let me just. At the door, and then I come back like beep, beep, beep. Oh, sorry, you didn't say. The burial caverns lie to the south, southeast of the map of the camp. A north-facing door and a little hail halfway between us and the slopes of Red Mountain. Go north from the camp to the water, then turn east. As a rock cairn on the beach, turn on the head straight south and until you find the door. The spirit of our ancestors guard the caverns. They will attack and will kill you if they can. Force your way past them or evade them. Get the bow and return to prove your worthiness. Okay. There we go. This, this this has to be the nerdiest stream ever. I'm playing Morrowind. I'm talking about Star Trek. I'm talking about like Star Trek Klingon blood. <laughs> we we need like deodorant in this in this this stream right now. It's starting to smell. <laughs> All right, let's see here. So I must go to everybody. Okay, the the bone biter, the bone mold longbow. Uh, says the Ursula burial caverns lay to the south southeast of the Ursula, okay, halfway between the camp and the slopes of Red Mountain. Okay, so I'm gonna go from here and then it kind of just go down. Uh, could that be it? Could it be that simple? No way. But this is the Astro burial. This 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 is not the same. Uh. Should I think this might be it? This is it. Well, here I thought, hey, we're gonna take an hour to find this thing, but guess what? No! We are fine. There's only one problem here. I really... Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> I really should have brought some uh, fatigue potions here, but... I think I'll be fine. Alright. Gray Shaft of Unraveling. Oh, sure, I'll take that. There we go. Longbow. No, no, no. It's actually kind of a deep dungeon here, so... Hey, Skeleton. How you doing? <laughs> Great. Alright. Gotta get up here. Again, the, the, the Morrowind... The Morrowind. This game in particular lacks dungeon music, which I've addressed before, but it's not a really bother for me. Um, 
In fact, it actually kind of makes the dungeon exploring for me a little easier to digest. Because it doesn't feel like... You're shed out of luck constantly. Oh my god. Ow. Come here. Come here! But, uh, yeah, you, there's mods where it actually implements the music from the previous game, Daggerfall, into the dungeon exploring, but... Yeah. Oh, shit. Let's see here. There's some pretty good loot in this dungeon, too. Oh, I'm sliding around. Spooky, man. That is a, that is a happy ass skeleton. <laughs> Look at him. Welcome to my fuck house. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Happy skeleton. Right. I cannot believe that the voice actor of Skeletor actually gave me a shout out. Like, I should have just quit streaming there, man. I've I've done everything I wanted, you know. There we go. Dead adventure, huh? What do you got on you? You got a Nordic Iron Queries. How does this look on me? Kind of this. It looks better, but again, I'm going for raw stats here, so. When did this happen? I think like um, two years ago, whatever. Uh, somebody. Uh, see if I can find a link to this. See if I can find a link to this real quick. Uh, uh, I don't have it on hand, but yeah, uh, Skelter's voice actor, Alan Oppenheimer. Yeah, from the original He-Man series, um, was at, I think, some Comic-Con or whatever, and uh, one of our viewers was there, and they, they did a kind of a dirty thing. They said, hey, I have a cousin who would really like a shout-out. And, you know, Skelter goes like, Joel, you, you, you bonehead! Suck my bone! Not, he didn't say that, but to the effect of that, that I'm like, <gasps> you know, so really awesome, but, uh, yeah. No, no, it's my cousin. Anyway, but yeah, yeah, he really did. Hey, see if I can maybe find this. Maybe, maybe find this. Uh, hang on, give me a second here. Uh, can you please restate the ramen shop? I didn't clip it. Oh, it's called um, Haruka. Haruka. Just put that in katakana and you'll find it. Okay, um, Skeletor voice actor Joel Shoutout. Let's see if I can find this. Uh, we guys might have to dig a little bit for this, but I, I can't find it. But somebody really did it. Alright, scroll up purity button. No, 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 I'm good. I'm good. I got the boots already, so. Alright. Oh, down in the water. Right, we're gonna explore a little bit more of this dungeon here. Is Marmorn just a collection of big islands? Uh, well, it is a big island. It's more like a volcano island. It is a volcano island, in fact. Uh, but it's it's not a it's not a continent. Um, the continent is Vardenfell. But Marwyn is sort of like a big island in 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 it. So, all right, let's see here. So we, we're going here, and then I'm going there. Okay. Hey, rat. I really, really should have brought some fatigue potion. I'm really regretting this now, but... Alright, so be it. I've said this before, but when you think of this game in particular, I'm always stricken by this blue light. Like, Marwin is a very... ethereal-looking game. Like, th there's always a blue, kind of weird... Um, lacery blueness about it, and it just, it just looks so good. I believe there's a special ring you can get here too in this this place, which is up here somewhere. But uh, all right, let's see here. It's gonna be a lot of exploration in this dungeon. In fact, uh, I hear a ghost. Come here, ghost. <laughs> 
Dude, the ghost didn't even see him. It's like, who dares enter my land? <laughs> Holy shit, look at all this stuff. Scroll of uh, Black Despair, damage willpower, absolutely. We got a scroll of Sirtis' Porphyry, Paralyze. Oh my god, look at this. Scroll of Tevil's Peace, Call of Hum- Oh my god, look at these spells, man. Let's go to the second barrier, yes. Scroll the third barrier, yes, man, yes, man. And we got some con barrier, which we learned a little bit about in the Barbarians ABC. Alright, there we go. There we go. Get through this place. So I can sneak up on the skill. Ah, oh, damn it. Stop that. Hmm. Well, you'd really try it, huh? What is Cobb Sal's personality like? He's not as crazy as Bogan, but he's got he's got a short temperament. He's basically a pissed off Nord that's just like, oh. Tell you what, my words fail. Look at that face. That's his personality right there. It's a really creepy atmosphere around these places that are like burial grounds and stuff, because it's like got these weird whispers in it. Listen to this. Ready? Please turn it up. Ugh. The, the, this, this character does not is not related to Bogan, by the way. Y just so you know, this cannon. Wooden staff of peace, paralyzed. I'll take that. They aren't related. But it is canon now that Bogan is Sheogorath. So. What do we got here? We got. Let's see here. Let me get up. Fire by Warax. I'll take that. And I'll take the. Well, is this a bone mold tower shield? It's a mummy. I wonder what else he's got on him. Maybe like a ring or something. Well, I can find a helmet. Bomber helmet, but I'm, I'm not using medium armor, so we're fine with that. Is Morrowind the most magical game? Uh, I'm not sure exactly what you mean with that, but the most magical game? Hang on, I think there's a thing up here. If you're talking about more like, oh, <gasps> Skuma! Well, it is the most magical game. Ooh, 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 ooh! Drugs, drugs! Um, if it's the most, like, wizardry game, like, it's the most full of spells and weird shit, yes. Yes, absolutely. So I can maybe... Oh, yes, there's more stuff to this. Let me see if I can jump up here. Here we go. Let me do that. Did I... I should have just brought a levitation spell or something. I could probably do this, Rip. I jump up. <laughs> this is this is tedious, man. Okay, hang on. There, there's arguably the most powerful wizard in in Morrowind, and he lives. Well, actually, we'll see him soon. And there's some weird shit about him. I said this in a previous stream, but okay, this, this is this is ridiculous. Perhaps the boots is fucking my, my momentum. Yeah, here we here we go. Oh my god. My god! <sighs> Keep it together, Joel. You can do this. Oh, here we go. The Fae Falcon, Book One by Wayne Joth. The great sage was a tall, untidy man, bearded but bald. His research resembled him. All the books have been moved over the years to the bottom shelves where they gather in dusty conglomerations. Use several of the books in his current lectures explaining to his students, Taksim and Vongdulkak, <laughs> how the Mage's Guild had first been founded by Vanus Galerian. They had many questions about the Galerians beginning in the Pacific Order and how the study of Magis Magic, Magic, to differed from the Mage's Guild. It was, and is a very structured way of life, explain the Great Sage. Quiet, and it is actually. That was the most aspect of Galerian most subjected to. 
He wanted the study of magic to be free. Well, not free exactly, but at least available to all who can afford it. I'm doing that. He changed the course of life in Tamriel. He codified the practices and rituals used by all modern potion makers. Potion maker, potion seller, I'm going to battle. Item makers and spell makers, didn't he? Great sage. Asked Von Guldark. That was only part of it. Magic as we know it today comes from Vanus Galerian. He reconstructed the schools to be understandable by the masses. He invented the tools of alchemy and chanting so everyone could con concoct whatever they wanted, whatever their skills and purse would allow them to. But the fears of magical backfire will eventually create that. What do you mean, great sage? Asked Taxim. The first tools were mere automated than the ones we have today. Any layman could use them without the least understanding of enchantment and alchemy. On the Isles of Atacum, the students had to learn the skills laboriously. And over many years, the Galerian decided another example of the psychedelicism. The tools he invented were like robotic master enchanters, alchemists, capable of creating anything the customers required, provided he could pay. So. Someone could, for example, create a sword that would cleave the world in twain? asked Bungulak. I suppose in theory, but it would probably take all the gold in the world, chuckled the great sage. No, I can say we were in very great danger, but it wasn't that there wasn't a very fortunate incident where an unschooled yokel invented something beyond his ken. Eventually, of course, Galerian tore apart his old tools and created what we use today. It's a little elitist, requiring that people know what they're doing before they do it, but remarkably practical. What did people invent? asked Taxim. Are there any stories? You're trying to distract me so I don't test you, said the great sage. But I suppose I can tell you one story, just to illustrate a point. This particular tale takes place in the city of Alinor, on the west coast of Somerset Isle, and concerns a scribe named Thorba. This was in the second era, not long after Vanus Galerian had first founded the Mages Guild, and chapter houses had sprung up all over Somerset, though not yet spread to the mainland of Tamriel. <laughs> hey, you know, you know what? Let's, let's make this reading even more reedy. All right, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta, I'm gonna cheese this up a little bit. Wait, there we go. There we go. All right. This was in the second era, no long after Vanus Galerian had first found the Mages Guild, and chapter houses had sprung up all over Somerset, though not yet spread to the mainland of Tamriel. For five years, the scribe Thorbed had conducted all of his correspondence to the outside world by way of his messenger boy. Gorgos! For the first year of his adaptation of his hermit life, his few remaining friends and family, friends and family of his dead wife, truth be told, had tried visiting, but even the most indefeatable, indefeatable, indefeatable kin gives up eventually when given no encouragement. No one had a good reason to keep in touch with Thorbad Hulzik in time. Very really few even tried. His sister-in-law sent him the occasional letter with news of people he could barely remember. But even the communication was rare. Most of messages to and from his house dealt with this business, writing the weekly proclamation from the Temple of Auriel. These were bulletins nailed on the temple door, community news, sermons, that sort of thing. The first message Gorgos brought to him from that day was from his healer, reminding him of his appointment on Tudas. Thorbad took a while to write his response, glum and affirmative. He had a crimson plague, which he was being treated for at considerable expense. You have to remember these were the days before the School of Restoration had become quite a, so specialized. It was a dreadful disease and had taken away his voice box. Just like this idiot reading right now using this old man voice about to uh, get a disease in his throat because I'm, my god, I'm reading too much. That was why he only communicated by script. The next message was from Alpheus, the secretary at the church. As curt and noxious as ever. Thorbad attaching Sunday's server next week events calendar. 
and the obituaries try to live in the up as little as I was and happy with your last attempt. It's all bad at taking the job and putting together the bulletin. But what Alfie has joined the temple. So it's only a mental image of it was through purely theoretically and have all of a time. At first he thought of Alfie as an ugly fat slowness covered with warts. More recently, she had mutated into a rail thin spinster orcus. Of course, it was possible his clairvoyance was accurate. And she had just lost weight. Whatever Alphys looked like, her attitude towards Thorbad was clear, unwavering disdain. She hated his sense of humor, always found the most minor of his spellings. He watched this idiotic stream for hours, pointing out one guy and always complained. Too much, too little, too much, macaroni, cheese. He could not shut the hell up. And calligraphy, the worst kind of amateur work. Luckily, working for a temple was the mo next most secure job to work it for the good King Eleanor. He didn't bring in very much money, but his expense was minimal. The truth was, he didn't need to do it anymore. He had quite a fortune stashed away, but he didn't have anything else to occupy his days. And the truth was further than was having a little else to occupy his time and thought that the building was very important to him. Gorgos! Having delivered all the messages, began to clean, and as he did so, he told Thor about all the news in town. The boy had always did the boy always did so. And Thorbart Cello paid him any attention, but this time he had an interesting report. The Matus had come to Alanor. As Thorbad listened intently, Gogos told him all about the guild. The more remarkable Lord's Might Magister and the incredible tools of alchemy and enchanting. Finally, when the lad had finished, Thorbad scribbled a quick note and added the quail to Gogos. The note read have them enchant this quill! It will be expensive, said Gorgoth. Lawman oh, gave Gorgoth a sizable chunk of the thousands of gold pieces that had served him over the years and saved him over the door. Now Thorbad decided he would finally have the ability to impress Alpheus and bring glory to the Temple of Ariel. We have heard the story. Gorgoth had thought about taking the gold and leaving Eleanor, but he had come to care for the poor old Thorbad. Even more, he hated Alphaeus, who had, set, had to see every day to get his messages for his master. It was perhaps for the best of his motivations, but Gorgos decided to go to the guild and get the quill enchanted. The Maidus Guild was not then, especially not then, an elitist institution, as I have said. When the messages boy came in and asked to use the item maker, he was greeted with some suspicion. When he showed the bag of gold, the attitude melted, and he was ushered in the room. Now. I haven't seen one of the enchanted tools of old, so you must use your imagination. There was a large prison for the item to be bound with magicka, assuredly an assortment of soul gems and globes of trapped energies. Other than that, I cannot be certain how it looked or how it worked. Because of all the gold they gave to the guild, Gorgos could infuse the quill with the highest prized soul available, which was something Daedric called Fey Vulcan. And they should let the, go the guild, being ignorant about the guild masters at the time, did not know very much about the spirit except it was filled with energy. When Gorgos left the room, the quill had been enchanted to its very limit, and then some. It was virtually quivering with power! Of course, when Thorbad used it, that's when it became clear how over his head he was. And now, said the great sage, it's time for your test! But what happened? What were the quill's power? cried Taxim. You can't stop the tale, dear! objected Volgulduck. We will continue the tale after your conjuration test, provided you perform exceptionally well, said the great Sage! 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 Did you enjoy story time? Did you enjoy story time? I sure did, and guess what? This is what we have right here, hang on. But who was Quill? Quill was this right here. Ah! <laughs> Ooh, I'm drowning! I'm drowning! <laughs> Okay. Yeah, whenever I read, read books, I'm gonna do the old man voice reading, reading Tolkien. Now, from what I remember, um, there's a little bit of a piece in that book that um, describes the spell making. And uh, as described in the book, 
It's a little funny piece of, could anyone wander in and create tools of mass destruction with the right gold? And basically, yes. Yes, you can. Uh, the, the game is basically saying, any, any yokel can walk into the Mages Guild, present enough gold, and create a nuke. And it's true in the game, you can do that, so... Yes, anyway, I'm still trying to get up here. Damn it. Man, I am having the, the, the toughest titty of a time with this. That can be like... Go here and then... Let's try. I really need a levitation spell. We've been at this dungeon for a while now. Oh! Almost, almost got on top of that. Joel is not looking at chat. What did I miss? Fuck. Just the mummy, but he's he's got an item here that I really want. Oh, I'm almost, I'm almost there. I'm almost there. Cobb salad hold. Who is stronger, Cobb or Bogan? Uh, Bogan is. Bogan is by far. He he's literally a Daedric god at this point, so. Fucking get up there. Ugh. My acrobatics is getting up because I'm trying to get this little item on his hand. There we go. Oh my god. Here's the bone charm. Summon skeleton minion for 60 seconds on self. Guys. We now have an amulet that can create a bone guy like that. Now, the only thing that's left is that I use my uh, unhinging here, if I have one. Open, open, open. Oh shit, do I not? Oh no, I used it. Oh god damn it. Oh, man, I I really want want what's inside here, and I think using a lockpick is not going to be the best uh, best option here. But why not? Let's try it. <laughs> this is going to be so awkward to do. Lock too complex. Fuck. So I currently am wielding an apprentice lockpick. Do I have anything? Apprentice probe. A journeyman's log pick. Let's see if we can do this. Oh fuck! All right, we might come back here with a spell. Okay, well, shit. There's some pretty good loot in there, probably, but I'm gonna leave that alone for now. Right now, I have a free summon skeleton thing, so that's pretty tight. All right. Well, there we go. Hey, I think this is. We've been here. All right, we're going to another layer here in this dungeon. I like reading books in Morrowind because Morrowind is one of those. Well, I would say all of Elder Scrolls. I'm not trying to dog on the other games, but I feel Morrowind, especially, the books are very uh, immersive to what's actually going on in the world. It's not just like words for the sake of words, they mean something in what's all going on. It really draws you in, so. You know what? I have an idea. You know what we're gonna do? I have a great idea. Ladies and gentlemen. Check this out. No, not me! Oh. Oh, oh God damn it! Fucking skeleton in the back shot me, damn it! Oh, you motherfucker. Joel has fainted. Oh, it's got enchanted arrows, that's why it took so much damage. 
Ooh. Ooh, I really got to get some potions for this. Uh, got to catch them bones. All right, let's see here. There we go. I did bring this, though. There we go. Now my heavy armor's going up, too, because I'm using the right stuff, so. Yeah, where the hell fuck was this was Bone Lord? Oh, there you are. There you are. Come here. What arrows are you using? Oh! Oh! God! Flame arrow, huh? I'll take that. Come here. Come here! Ah! And <laughs> I missed. Some pretty good uh, loot in this, this dungeon right here. We have a Nordic Claymore, which is inferior to my Dwarven one we have here. Should I stop referring to things as Dwarven in this game? Because, I mean, technically they are Dwarves, but... I feel I should use the the uh, the right name for it. Oh, Shijama. I'll fuck with that. Too. There we go. Call them Dweebers. But the right word is, is Dwemer, so... You know, and again, it's 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 a mare, so they are kind of elves. We saw one earlier, in fact, a ghost of them. I think I've seen everything here. So, anything else? A shield. Okay, again, we're we're here for one reason, and that's because the, we need the, the bow for what's his face? Um, uh, uh, Sulma tool. So. What's your theory on the disappearance? Uh, so I can't explain, or I can't theorize too much, because it's spoilery. But, um, oh, okay. Well, I don't want that. I don't want that. I'm good. But the dwarves in Elder Scrolls disappeared because of something that happened in this game. But, and it's never too explained. It's kind of up to theory, but I, I I need to wait to say my theory on what happened, because essentially... I can just say this. L l let me just say it non-spoilery, non because why they're gone. They... fucked around too much with technology, they got too smart, and the gods basically said, Hey! 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 Quit it. And they said, No. We are the gods now. And the god said, well, guess what? Control, alt, delete. So. Alright. What do we got here? Hello, hello skeleton with a huge war hammer. Alright. Ooh, hello, hello, hello. Let me get up here. I think I should put off the boots in these dungeons, because, like, there's no reason for me to run fast in a dungeon like this. I mean, I guess it's just fun to do, but do I really need to? And it's also kind of fucking up my, my jumping here. It's like, it's very sliddy. Sliddy? <gasps> What's this? Oh, I thought it was a Daikatana. What do you got on you? A steel halberd? No. Nothing here I want. Another dead adventurer. I'll take the lockpicks and sell it to some dirty thief skill or whatever, but... Uh, Daikatana stream when I actually did stream that, and... Uh, Scroll of Hellfire, take... Yes, 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 yes. Anything in here? I think there's a little bit more stuff I can get here, too. I really should invest in a, in a, in a spell here so I can le levitate. Corkball brew. Probably need that for something. Anything up there? Yes, there's something up there, but there's no way I can go up there. It's too too high up. Are we there? Yeah, it's too high up. Alright, whatever. There we go. Or I could maybe... Nah, nah, it's too high up. I'm gonna have to quit. Is this fucking skeleton punching me? Whoa, 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 whoa. Both of them. What? <laughs> Yo, what the fuck's your problem? Holy shit! Ugh, I'm drowning! I'm drowning! Fuck, they've got me! Oh god, I was just joking around! Ow! Imagine, imagine being held underwater by skeletons. MMA skeleton. And I drowned! They, they punched my fatigue as I, I, I collapsed in water. Holy shit. 
Oh, now they got... Oh, <laughs> I reloaded it. No, 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 no. Oh, they only have one arrow. That's why they ran out of arrow, so they're desper desperately using their fists. That's cute. That's really cute. But no, they weren't. What the fuck's going on there? I guess they were too close in combat, so you're like, you know what? Why don't we use our fists? <sighs> okay, we're almost done with the dungeon here, so... But there's l some more loot I can get before we quit. And I think that loot is... Somewhere here. Hang on. Yes, it's over here. There it is. There it is. It's the Amulet of Frost, which is not that powerful, but I'll still get it. Mmm, delicious 500-year-old crab meat. My favorite. Can I even reach that? Seriously, next time we come here, we should re-raid this dungeon with a levitation spell, because it's pretty good stuff over here. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Uh. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Zarkodia. Okay. Wait, I was here already. Alright. Here we go. Alright, this is the last part of the dungeon. We already have that, that skeleton um, amulet, which is pretty badass. Alright, but next time we're going here, levitation spell. And we're also bringing some potions for the uh, fatigue stuff, because, again... Uh, if you're missing a lot of Morrowind, there's two there's two problems. It's you don't have the skill for the weapon you're using, or you're running out of fatigue, so. I always feel I say that wrong. Fatigue. I, th I think we were over this before, but that's how you say it, right? Fatigue. Oh, God. Fucking, oh, dude, these are some dangerous arrows. Can never get me, man. Ah! Goddamn skeleton. Fatigue. Fatigue? Fatigue. Fatigue. Yeah, fatigue. Yeah, we're going in the right way. Is that a shortcut outside, by the way? Some cheaper store things. Again, I have spells to, like, use for health purposes, but I always feel like, I don't know, I rely more on potions for that stuff. Fuck, I have a lot of arrows on me, and they're stacking up. Let's see, we have a Apprentice's Probe. I already have that, in fact. We have a Steel Dagger. What is on here that I probably don't need? Uh, I kind of like all of it. Hey, while we're at it, let's, let's get our armor skill up a little bit. <laughs> That's how you do it! That's how you do it! That's how you do it. You smash the shit out of your stuff. And uh, it'll heal up. Heal up, you know what I mean. Speaking of healing up. I venture forth into the dungeon of death. Hey, wa watch me completely decimate this, this ghost immediately. Ready? Oh shit. He's stronger than that. Ugh! Hey, I wasn't too incorrect about that. Ooh, here we go. Here's, here's the bone butter bow. Awesome. All right. Is there anything extra I can get here? Is that some flint I see? Frost shield. Okay. You have anything on you I can use? Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. What is this? Are you holding an egg? What is that? Is that a soul gem? I think that's a fucking soul gem. Hang on. <laughs> Even in death, I still eat eggs. I actually think I'm gonna eat that for lunch, an egg. What was that? It was a scamp soul gem. Holy shit, really valuable stuff. Damn, I can probably enchant... My sword with this, <gasps> which is really what the story was all about. You know, the guy who rev revolutionized, you know, the major skill and all that stuff. With this stuff now, I can take this scamp soul gem, s throw it in my dwarven claymore, and make a giant fuck sword with it. So, yeah. 
Awesome, man. All right, let's get out of here now. We have the bow, and it's time to go. Out, my niece. All right. Uh... All right. I'm sure I missed something in this dungeon, but uh, yeah. Is the music too loud in the game, by the way, or is the sound effects too loud compared to my uh, my voice? Did I get this thing? Oh, that's a corpse. No, it sounds it's all good. Okay, gotcha. Ah, I love this game. I really do. Oh, I totally forgot about these urns. Holy shit! Nearly missed these. We ha oh, guys, finally we find the, find some eggs. Are you happy now? Got this spell here. We got restore health. Nice. We got a swift swim and water breathing. Awesome. <gasps> levitate! Fuck! Oh shit, guys. We found a levitate spell. Should I just use this levitate spell? Go back and get everything here, cause fuck. Yeah, why not? Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. Time to go back. <laughs> All right. All right. I, I love the levitation s stuff in this uh, game because it's. They took that out in the later games, and I feel that's a shame because levitation is. I mean, they took some stuff out from Daggerfall to Morrowind. Like in Daggerfall, you can climb walls as a skill. They took that out, which, you know, whatever. I guess it didn't work in this engine, but. Um, levitation in this is great because I've said this before, but if, you, if you're new to this, wizards in this game are really arrogant, pompous assholes. They're basically like, well, I'm gonna build my house in the skies. And if you cannot levitate up and knock on my door, you're not really worthy, so fuck off. <laughs> They're great. They're great. First of all, I need to see if this is the right thing. Uh, let's see here. We are going to be doing... Uh, where is it? There it is. And now I can... Because I'm so fast. I had nothing on them? Oh, it's a waste? Was this a waste? What about you, buddy? <gasps> glass! But it's... Oh, no! It's glass! I don't use glass! Shit! Well, let me save this spell for another room. Sell it. Yeah, I probably could, but... I can only use one of my levitation spells here. And I'm gonna use it on the, the one that was up here. No, the other one, in fact. I'm sorry. Take the glass. Yeah. Probably... Be, 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 see if I can maybe... Because it's 60 seconds, I probably can do both. Alright, let's try this again. And it is the... Uh, per, not periphery, it is... The... What was the spell call again? Uh, it is... Ruthus Hand of Heaven. Alright, here we go. What is it that you have here? You have a Book of Daedra. Okay, a spoon. Ooh. The uh, very America. Okay, I'll take this. I'll take that. But is that all? Okay, well, we're gonna have to dual spell this shit. Ooh, wait a minute. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, you serious? Motherfucker. Okay, we just gotta go quick then. Oh, damn it, I should have brought some fucking open spell shit. Okay, quickly, quickly, quickly. Get the glass. And, uh... Alright, we're gonna have to drop something, because we're six kilos overweight. I don't know if this is kilos, but... Alright, what weighs a ton that I'm not using? Uh, tell you what, let's just repair the rest of our stuff here. There we go, and now... Okay, it's still I'm a little too heavy. Uh, what am I not using that I could probably get out with? Um... Uh, uh, I'm gonna drop all the food that I've gathered. Like this, well, that's it's too, it's it doesn't weight anything. Wait, the crab meat might weight a little bit. Uh, honestly, uh, do I really need this tankard? Let's put it down. Uh, and I mean, I was gonna bring it home to my my house in Balmora, but I'm not really using this either. But it's got a little bit of value, I can sell, but, uh... Hmm. Any suggestions, guys? How about we drop some arrows? Nah, that's, that's stupid. 
But he's not dropping the skooma, I'll tell you that. I'll tell you that. The books... What are the cheapest books that I, that I don't need? Book of Daedra. Steps from the... I, I'll read this later, by the way. I'll read this later for you, but... Hmm... Maybe the spoon? The spoon is weighing a little bit. Yeah, no joke. The spoon weighed fucking uh, one, so... Uh, uh, tell what, I'm gonna eat this raw egg. There we go. And, uh... Heavy ass spoon. How about, how about we drop some of the rice? <laughs> there we go! Okay, okay, then we're gonna drop... This Kwama Cuddle. Am I, you know, let's eat this Kwama Cuddle. Hang on. And now I can move again. And I'm absolutely at my limit here, so, uh... Okay, let's quickly get out. Fuck, it feels like I'm no-clipping when I'm doing this stuff. Alright. Uh-oh. 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 Uh oh. Roro. No, we're fine. We're fine. Okay, I thought, I thought for a moment there, I was like not gonna go get back with the uh, the rocks, but no, 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 we're fine. We're fine. We are fine. Don't worry. All right, let's get out of here. Missed, missed a a glass claymore. I did. Shit. Well, I have Dwarven, so, you know what, you know what, we might explore this dungeon one more time, but for now, I need to pawn all this bullshit I have on me to some cellar. <laughs> Missed a shout. Oh, hey, how you doing? There we go. Alright, what do you have on you? What was this? Iron Spark Cleaver, huh? This is a Silver Spear. Hey, what's this? H hold up, skeleton. I'm, I'm trying to read. Ow, 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 ow. Fuck, I'm paralyzed. Ow, 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 ow. Shit. Shit. Ow, ow. Wait, do, do I have... Do I not have a thing against paralyzing? Potion. Uh... Was po oh, fuck. Wake up, Cobb! Wake up, Cobb! Oh! He got with the fucking paralyze arrows. Fuck. Okay, let's try that again. Quickly go in the right area too. Goddamn skeleton got me. All right, did I not explore all of this? Oh, no, I did not. In fact, I missed a little bit of this stuff. Did I? Oh, hang on, hang on. Where where was I going? No, I did miss a little bit of this. Okay, I'm ready now, skeleton. I'm ready now. Did you leave the grease paint? No, 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 they're here. They're here. I, I brought them with me. I brought them with me. Alright, there we go. All right, let's now look at this in peace without being bombarded with arrows. Hey, look at that. You're on your knees, skeleton. The skeleton is right where you saved? Really? Is it? Alright, let me let me do a double save here. Oh shit. But now I uh, I saved over it. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, besides, I'm it's too heavy to carry anyway. It's too heavy. I can't do it, so sorry, but we might be get back. But then again, I do have a sword that's better than glass. So yeah. I always thought it a little bothersome that they call it glass in, in the other schools. I always feel like the word glass means it's going to shatter on, in, in, upon impact, so... I need advice, but what can I help you with, friend? Wait, 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 wait. Wait, Dwarven is superior too? Wait. Wait, 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 hang on. Wait, 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 Dwarven is inferior to glass? I thought it had like the shittiest durability and stuff. What the fuck? It is? Well, f fuck rats. <sighs> All 
Are you serious, man? Well, we'll come back. We'll come back. We'll come back. We'll come back to this dungeon. Get the sword before the stream's done, alright? I just need to pawn some bullshit off, alright? I thought, I thought Dwarven was better. I thought it was like... Here's, here's how it was in my head all right, for the longest time. I guess I was totally wrong about this. But like, iron, steel, blah, 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 blah. And I thought it was like this glass, orcish, Dwemer or Dwarven, and then like, uh, I guess, uh, not the... It's one more. It's one more for it. Uh, I, guess, I guess I'm wrong about this, so shit. I'm sorry. Let me smack my, my the back of my head here real quick. Oh, it sure is foggy outside. By the way, we're still doing a Hawker Friday after tomorrow. Wind. No, no, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. You thought I would quit, man? No, I'm, I'm making up for. I'm making up for uh, yesterday not streaming. So. I need advice on how to not be sad. Uh, well, I couldn't really give you advice there, because, you know, we're all human beings, and we all get like that. But I would suggest, say this, enjoy the small things in life, you know? Don't, don't, don't think about the bigger problems. Enjoy a little bit of the small things. Take a nap, enjoy a milkshake, you know? Because sometimes big problems takes away all the little, little things we enjoy. And never lose track of what you really enjoy, because... Life gets tough. Life's a bunch of shit, you know. It really is. It's never easy for anyone. But also remember that no matter how bad things are, you can always enjoy the small things. And the small things accumulate over time into what we enjoy doing. So that's what I try to do. You know, it's never easy. Take it all step by step, one thing at a time. I'm not going to like this. All right. Well, you are going to like this because guess what? I got your fucking bow. It's my father's bone batter bow. You have completed the initiation right. I name you Cobb Salad, client friend of the Ashlanders. Keep my father's bow and bear with honor. You are a friend of our tribe, and you may rest in any Urshalaka bed. Well, I did so earlier, but do not harm other tribe members or take their things. And now I'll fulfill my other promise. Go to the wise woman's yurt, and the Bonnie Mesa will shall examine you, and shall test you against the Neverin prophecies. All right, there we go. Oh, oh. Sorry, sorry, sat on enter your your yurt. It was an accident. It was an accident. Finally we can meet her properly this time. Okay. What do you want? And anyway, go ahead. Do you have any questions about the Neverin prophecies? I sure do. Have you come to see if you pass the test? I sure do. You are not the Neverine. You are one who will maybe come to Neverine. It is a puzzle and a hard one. But you have found some of the pieces, and you may find more. Do you choose to be the Neverine? Then seek the lost prophecies among the dissident priests of the temple. Find the lost prophecies, bring them to me, and I will be your guide. And take these copies of the Stranger and the Seven Visions. Now, I have told you all that I know. Go, think about what I've told you, and do what must be done. Oh, Jesus. The lost prophecies, huh? There are Neverine prophecies that have been lost, the Seven Curses and others. Some are forgotten, some hidden, some deliberately lost. The wise women are the memory of the Velothi people. It is a faulty memory and we are mortal, and our knowledge dies with us. But we hear that the dissident priests of the temple study our nevering prophecies and record them in the books. Such written words never die. You must go to them and ask for these books and bring them what you find to me. Hmm. Lost prophecies, huh? Well, I better do ask about this. Uh, the Stranger, huh? This is the best known of the nevering prophecies. We call it the Stranger. Stranger. When earth is, is sundered, and the sky is choked black, and the sleepers serve the seven curses, to the heart there comes a stranger, joined far neath moon and star. Though stark born to sire uncertain, his aspect marks a certain fate. Wicked stalk them, righteous curse him, prophets speak, but all deny. Many trials make manifest the stranger's fate, the curse's bane. Many touchstones try the stranger, many fall, but one remains. <gasps> Could it be me? All right, and then we have the seven visions. That's all the same. All right, well, there we go. I'm not gonna buy that skooma from you. Get rid of it, and then we can trade. Oh, sorry, I forgot. I found this this drug in this old burial chamber. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I I really shouldn't be having this th these drugs on me. Sorry about that. <laughs> Did 
Let's sell her some of these these things that I probably don't need. She's all she's got garbage really. She's just a Ashlander woman, so now nah, she's not gonna take anything. But all right. Let me see if I can get the skooma on me. Hey, you're standing in the my my skooma. My skooma. Give back my skooma. Give, give my skooma. Woman, out of the way. You're blocking my skooma. No, don't stand on it. Don't stand on my drugs. No. It's my, this is my drugs. It's my damn drugs. Get down from it. I swear to God, get down. Mutsera. I wish it was like oblivion where I could push her off it. Guys, I got yurted. You know what? Hey, she's an essential NPC in the game. Guess what happens when you kill somebody important? Ready? One more. Oh, damn you. See, again, she's really important, but... With this character's death, the threat of prophecy is severed. Restore as, it's a safe game to restore the weaves of fate or persist in the doom world you have created. Oh, my skooma. Is that what happens? Beyond measure, I know, no, no, that's that's great and all that, but uh, I need I need I need my drugs back. I really want my drugs back. I'll probably get her to move out. Oh, this is so irritating. Just move from my drugs. Mm. 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 This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. <sighs> listen, listen, you, the cops will get you, all right, Ralph Nibani, not me. <sighs> this is so weird. Just get my drugs back. Thanks. Okay, I'm a little too heavy, so I'm gonna drink uh, my. Actually, you know, l let me eat my my calm berry here, and my my scrib jelly, and uh, we'll drop this. <laughs> we'll drop this note that I have. How about this? Notes from Holia. Did I read this one? I think I didn't do this one yet. Uh, yeah, I think I did. Yes, I did it. Decoded package. Spy master. I haven't read this one either. Fuck him. Uh, how about we just we drop one hammer? There we go. Petty soul gem. Shit. This is this, this ring. Okay, this ring, and then um, <laughs> this is ridiculous. Not the skooma. You know what? Give me, give me the uh. You know what? Mission to Vivek. Yes, that's what was heavier. <laughs> hey, sorry. Don't read this. I'll be back to do this. Don't read what's on here. It's it's very important in imperial business. So please, Ashlander, listen. Th this this stuff right here. Don't don't freak out about it. Okay. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Before we go, I'm gonna actually quickly use my divine intervention spell here to get back. They probably can't read Imperial anyway. Yeah, probably they can't, so. No, it says uh, poo poo pee pee, don't worry about it. Alright, let's sell all this stuff. I believe there is a armor slash weapon we vendor somewhere. Oh, here we go. Zeba. Oh, he's just using clothes, but... Uh, hang on. Here we are. Here's Hanabi. Guess what I have for you. Boom, boom. Uh, no, I'm not going to sell my enchanted shit. Um, I have all these arrows. They only got 500 gold, though, so this might be bad. And uh, sell a little bit of this, too. 
Fuck, we have, we have so many arrows and stuff we can sell. Alright. Flame arrow is gonna go up here, and then I'm gonna sell this for around 500. There we go. Oh, you really like that armor, huh? I got it in a tomb. Alright, and then we're gonna have... Uh... Sell these other arrows, because I'm not going to use bows in this. I really am not. We sell our gold this year. Okay, t t t tell what, you just chill out, alright? Now that we have a little bit more gold, we're going to go back to... Uh, Balmora. Sell my other shit, and then we're going to be... I try not to use the scamp here, because the scamp is a little... Little... Little cheap. Bows are for elves, exactly. Oh, pfft. Jesus, man. Do the to drop these spawn? I don't think they do. I don't think they do, actually. Alright. Head back to my house. Why not the crab? Because the, the crab is more like a joke NPC than an actual... I mean, I could... Hey, what's poppin', dude? Alright, I'm gonna put some of my shit down here. Don't touch him, alright? Don't touch him. Bone. Because he gave me this, this, this air, bleh, bow, by the way. This war axe, this, this thing. Uh, what else did he drop that I can use? Amulet of Frost, I'm gonna put that right here. There we go, and this spark bolt ring. Am I using any rings? I got the ring of healing from Fargoth, but, uh... I put it here, alright. Let's see here, we have a lot of books here that I'm gonna start piling up, so... Book on Daedra. About the stranger. There we go. Put this here, and then let's... All these arrows that I got, I'm gonna bring with me so I can sell them, but... Um, let's see here. What else can I sell off real quick? Uh, I got all these arrows. Well, I'll sell all these arrows, I guess. Hey, don't touch my shit, alright? Don't touch my shit. Oh, by the way. My orders, yes. You've spoken with Sul Matul and Ibana Mesa, and from what you, they say, it sounds like you could really be the Never Eater. That's just incredible, but I'll have to get used to that idea. Let me try to get the word to Mira Milo. Maybe she can find out whatever the dissident priests have any lost prophecies. But in the meantime, I have a very tough assignment for you. You think you're ready? I'm ready for anything. Hmm, don't get overconfident, but it so happens that I agree. You're ready, but just in case, I'm gonna give you 400 drinks before you head out. Make sure you outfit yourself with healing potions, new gear, a little training, whatever you think you need the most. And remember, if you get in trouble, back up, back off, rest up, and go back fresh. Don't get cocky. I think this will be a tough one. Here's your mission. Fort Buckmoth sent a patrol to Gnarmuk, hunting smugglers with the Sixth House connections. They found a Sixth House base, a Sixth House shrine, and a Sixth House priest named Dagoth Garrus. Speak to champion Raisa Puglia at the 4th Buckmoth, and she'll tell you about the patrol in the 6th house base. Your orders, find the 6th house base, kill Dago Garrus, and bring back full report to the 6th house base. It's getting serious now! But before I do that, I'm gonna sell my stuff. Alright. Oh, it's raining too! Alright. Get up here to the Fighters Guild. Sell my shit here. Oh yeah, my, bleh. do you sell stuff again? Yes, he does. Yes, he does. All right, but guess what? I have a ton of shit for you. Have all these arrows that I will never use. Yes, indeed. And this too. Got two thousand gold. Okay, and then regular arrows, and then should I just like s straight up sell my graves? I mean. They're 13 rating. My, this is better. Th these griefs have a lot of fucking value, but honestly, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna not sell this to this guy. I'm gonna do a little detour. All right, a little detour, a little detour for this stream, because uh, let's not sell to the mud crab. Let's sell it to the scamp. All right. That is a lot of fucking money. Right, you know what? You know what? You guys want to see the fucking mud crab for once. All right. Who here does not know about the mud crab in this game? Yes. Yeah. A lot of people don't know about the mud crab, huh? Well, let me show you. 
First, we gotta go down to uh, Vivek. Why walk when you, you can ride? See, whenever I do the dark elf voice, I really want to sound like the voice actor doing the voice, but the problem is, I just sound like Batman. <laughs> Wake up. You were sleeping. Or you were dreaming. Last night's storm couldn't wake you. Where were the drugs going? Alright, um... Hey, who's this clown? Hey, Tinos. You know, you know, you know what? You deal with these things. <laughs> Alright, there's a Daedric Shrine over there, and that means we're kind of close. Alright. Where are the drugs? Alright, so, uh, thank god I'm using a graphic extender here to see a little farther, because it's going to be really easy to find him. So, we're going to be here, and then... From what I remember, okay, so so if you do not know what the hell I'm talking about here, the mud crab or whatever, this this is not him. Uh, there's this one special mud crab that uh, not Todd Howard put him, but let's just say that Todd Howard put him. <laughs> there's a mud crab in this game that is a talking mud crab that also has, happens to be a trader and an alcoholic. And if you think I'm joking, I'm really not. That's my mud crab. I think he's right here. Hey, man. Wake up. I'll dry him. I'll dry him. No, no, it's a dry him. Ah, hey there. Let's make a deal. I got stuff like there. See. Background. What do you think? She's a mud crab. Sure, I'm a mud crab. That's me. Pretty sure. I look like a mud crab, right? Must be. It's me talking, right? I must be talking mud crab. And I sell stuff, right? So I must be a talking mud crab merchant. That's the reason, don't it? Sure, that's what I said. Did I stutter or something? Talking mud crab merchant. Read my lips or uh, mouth parts. <laughs> Read my mouth parts. Something ain't right, but never mind. Just a one in a lifetime mystery. So you're gonna buy something? Or just see your jaw all day? Wow, it's really him. Guess what, though? Look at his gold. Guess what I'm gonna do? Problem is, I'm not gonna get my full value out of this. This is, I think this merchant has the highest gold in the game, which means I'm essentially giving this away for free a lot of times. Uh, so I'm actually losing a lot of money here, but uh, mm, all right, it's more valuable than that, but mm, all right. You can micromanage gold by buying stuff from traders with the expensive item. I guess I could. Uh, you can only get that full value if you if you cheese the trading system. Well, tell what, we're gonna go with ten thousand. That's a lot of money anyway. Thank you. Please come again. I love you. I love you. Money. Okay. Twelve thousand gold, boys. That's a lot of cash. A good boy. But let's not let's not use this talking mud crab too often because. Uh, it is, uh, a big cheat. You know, it's meant to be kind of a half Easter egg sort of deal, and it's like, it kind of breaks it a little bit, so... I killed this crab on my, my first playthrough, not knowing, oh yeah, that, that's, that's what you're meant to do. Because it's been like, oh, it's just another mud crab, but really what it is, you know. Hey, slaughterfish. Here's what I suggest, guys. Here's what I suggest. We get ourselves a spell of levitation. Go back to the uh, burial place. Get the sword. Yada, yada, yada. And, and yeah. You know, if I really wanted to, I can get Daedric right now. <laughs> There's a guy around these parts that actually has Daedric shit on him, but he is pretty dangerous, so... You know, but let's not let's not cheese too much already. Fucking ordinator. Alright. Um Here we go. Uh Uh What am I doing? Oh we get to get the seal strider. 
I highly recommend you get the Marwin graphics extender, by the way, because it allows you to see much farther. All right, the game without this 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 thing looks very very more foggy. You know, this is like intentional fog, but otherwise it's it's kind of hard to see. All right, let's head back to Balmora. Why walk when you can? Run? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yo, will you join the ordinators? You can't. You cannot join the ordinators. They they fucking hate you. Oh, long way. Um, you can extend the uh, fog further, but I'm sure you already know that. Yeah, I know. But the game kind of <laughs> sort of lag on my PC. Actually, it's kind of embarrassing to f confess. But if you have the fog way too long ago, like you're gonna have a choppy stream. So, just to demonstrate this, by the way, uh, again. If I buy a spell here, <laughs> resist magicka. Well, check this out. If, if we enchant my sword here with the uh, scamp gem, I could uh, make a really powerful weapon. And again, I have so much money that I can. Dude, fuck! I kind of. Well, guys, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Didn't the glass claymore in the dungeon have magic properties already? Right. Yeah, that means that yes. I could, if I wanted to, skip out on it. Because, again, it's not a huge difference, but I don't know what its properties are, right? If it's like a shock and flame, great, but... Um, well, what the fuck were you doing? All right, let's get these spells. I'm not gonna buy that skooma for you. Oh, so sorry, sorry, I forgot. I sorry I had all these drugs on me. Haha. <laughs> you know. Whoops. Alright, there we go. Uh, spells. Do you have any levitation spells on you real quick? You got feather, but that's not what we want. Okay, I'm gonna ask you guys, what should we do? Because I'm kind of running out of time. It's turning into 11 a.m. And I want to do the uh, Harker Friday. Um, here's what we're gonna do. Should we do the claymore thing that I have, i.e. we get the glass claymore with the levitation spell and then we end the stream, or should we just enchant the dwarven claymore we have now and end it? Uh, what do you think? <laughs> Friday, Saturday, I know, I know, I know, glass, let's get the glass, okay, let's get the glass. But we need a levitation spell to get up there again, so we're gonna get our spells and then we're gonna get... Levitation here. Ooh, I don't think nobody has levitation here. Hang on. Wait, wait. It's it's not a spell like that. It's a barter thing. Hang on. I forgot about the scoop. I always forget. Sorry. All right. There we go. Oh, she doesn't have uh, spells like that. I think woman upstairs has it. What's her name? You just drink it. No, 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 no. It's sacred. It's, it's important. All right. Here we go. And do you have... Ooh, I need some, some, uh, I'll send me intervention too. This could be really good. Give me divine intervention and then one more. And then soul trap. Jump. Teener's hop. This could actually work. Yeah. But I really, oh, here we go. Unhinging. Oh, I can probably find some other loot in there. Hey, she doesn't have any levitation things. Uh... Mm. This better be important, Nord. Do you know? Do you know I can punch all your blood out? Did you know that? I can just go like this, and all your blood is gone. Listen, <laughs> you better shut up. Shut up. <laughs> all right. Um. But who... I think that if I go to Ebonheart, there is someone that has more levitation things. Uh, is it Caldera that has that? Come on. I haven't got all day, you know. Make it quick, Nord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you, do you have any shit? Faction members only, Nord. Up, asshole. Where, where, who has levitation? I hope this won't take long. I'm not gonna buy that school. Jesus, you guys are some assholes, huh? Bit it out or hit the road. Oh, fuck you. 
You're all gonna regret the fucking shit you say to me. Uh, lock. Uh, swift swim. What the fuck? Who the hell has levitation? Oh, by the way, speaking of alchemy, I said this before, but this is a master set right up here. And nobody's particularly guarding it, so if you want to be a bastard about it, you can get a get a pretty uh, pretty good set here. But we are not gonna get that yet. I think it's Aldrune. It's Aldrune. Okay. Well, now that I have so much cash, I can pretty much travel uh, quickly. So, Marin, Dren, and Balmora or two in Eberhardt. Okay. Well, somebody said Aldrune, so let's try that out real quick. Hey, asshole, do you go... Fuck, I'm stuck on a candle! My god, that's a levitation spell right there. Are you gonna give me shit for having Skooma on me? Yep. People sure hate Skooma here. Alright, let's see what you... Oh, it's only got alchemy stuff. Identify yourself. God. Speak, traveler. Traveler. Nope. Oh, hey, we hit the jackpot, I think. No, she does not have that. She doesn't have that. Oh, well, I guess we're going all the way to Balmora then. Oh, uh, what a detour. Oh, he got, he got some spell for him. Hang on, wait a minute. Telekinesis, reflect, blind. Invisibility, open. Well, look at that. Open door, huh? Open door. Guess not. We're going to Balmora then. I what the fuck? Time, so be quick about uh, who was the asshole I talked to? The travel? <laughs> there it is. Okay. Back to Balmora. Oh God. So she, if she doesn't have it, then who has it? Dren, you got it, man. Water walking open. There it is, there it is, levitate. Thanks. Alright. What a bunch of shit. <laughs> what a bunch of shit. Alright. There we go. Let's do this again. Anyway, let's head back here. We make a special trip just for Travel and then all run. Might get some skill lessons. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Let's go to cool, and then let's let's quickly go there. All right. Thank God for these boots, by the way. The love to spell is forty-five points. You don't have that? Wait, 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 wait. Thanks for pointing that out, by the way. I I got a little too careless here. What's this levitate thing at? You know what I probably could do? I can probably go back real quick. Don't they have, like, potions that allow you to do this stuff, too? Hang on. Um, levitate. Here we go. You're right. So what I could do... I could probably make a potion that en enhances my magicka real quick, but... Did somebody just got pissed at me? Oh, hey, 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 hey. What? Fuck's your problem, man? Why, why are you pissed at me, man? Ow! You in my what? Why? Why? Why are you angry at me? Well, fucking... What's your deal? Oh, thanks. <laughs> okay. You know what I probably could do? This is gonna be real cheap to do, but it might actually help in the long run. We're gonna go back to the, the, the guild here. And we're gonna make a spell. We're gonna make a spell. From the same woman. We're going back and forth and traveling a lot, and it, it, it's not that much of a concern, but... We gotta keep our money, though. We don't wanna spend it too much on random stupid shit. Alright. Hey, guess what? I wanna make a spell. It's actually, she doesn't know the one who does it. It's... Esther Dallery. Hey, look at me. Alright. Levitate and uh, self and. I don't know. Uh, there we go. 
There we go. And uh, spell chance has got to go up a little high. Wait, this, this, decreasing it. Uh, wait a minute. I did it on touch there. There we go. Buy some magic beans. You got the touch. You know, probably 10 seconds is better for this. There we go. And I'm gonna call it, uh... Uh... A big jump. <laughs> Even though it's, you know... Hey, but you know what, you know what? It's 13% chance of doing this. I think I can do it. Hang on, I might have to uh, do this again. Hang on. We need a higher percent on this. This is ridiculous. Hang on. Uh, that's actually decreasing if I do this, so. Uh, guys. <laughs> it's not looking very good. It's not looking very good. Uh, does this really matter in terms of, like... No, it doesn't. Spell chance, 21. Then, fuck it, whatever. One second. This spell is gonna suck ass, but so be it. Hey, you know what we could probably do? I have a fucking better idea. I have a way better idea. Guys, 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 watch this, watch this. Big brain time. Big brain time. I really can't help you, stranger. Enchanting. Levitate. Self. No, not, not that much, Jesus Christ. You just, like, 18 seconds is fine. Item? Guess what? I have this belt that I'm not doing anything with. Ah, ba 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 ba! Big brain time! Big brain time! And I just gotta buy a little soul gem from her. Which is gonna be, ah, uh, whatever. Give me that bullshit. Alright. I'm loving it. Alright, there we go. Now that I have this, hook me up with this belt. Levitate me. Alright, there we go. For 10 seconds. Can it actually hold a spell? Oh, yeah, 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 no problem, no problem. Does it make, make any difference, really, for the magnitude? Sorry, I'm having a dumb, dumb moment. Yeah, that's it. And I'm gonna call it, uh... Isn't it 1-1, one, one, though? Right? Yeah, or, 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 it won't work if I don't if I don't do it this way. Hang on, one, one, and then it needs to be like uh, ten or whatever. All right, there we go. And then I'm gonna call it uh, clever name, guys. Flight belt, uh, anti gravity belt. That's funny. There we go. Yes. All right, there we go. Now I can fly. Watch this jetpack. Equip this, and now I can just straight up do this. Anti gravity belt. Wee! <laughs> and I can creep doing it, then I can just be like, ah, whatever. <laughs> Nothing stops me now. All right. Good. Okay, hang on, there we go. My people need me. Alright, now we got that. I can see why they removed that in the in the uh, future games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a little, you know. But I'll tell you what, though. Uh, if I really want to, I can actually complete the game right now. Because I can just, like, go over the ghost wall and kick Dagoth Earth S. But we're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. We're not going to do that, alright. But, again, you can see why Morrowind is a little broken, but that's why I like it. I like the fact that it allows you to do these ridiculous demigod things. Alright, uh, Margon. Where would you like to go? What's the cost of you flying like that? Uh, n not much at all. Not much at all, in fact. Okay, uh, here we go. We're going to, uh, cool real quick. Cool. There we go. Alright, here we go. 
a lot of the stuff that I'm doing in these streams are like you're not meant to do them. You know, like kind of little. You know, you know what? You know what? It's because we can. Watch this. Watch this. Oh no! Oh no! I can't get up here. It's too steep. <laughs> Fuck y'all. <laughs> oh shit. Oh fuck me. You know what? I deserve that. Ah! 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 My knees! Ah! Ah! <laughs> my legs! Okay. <laughs> Exploding knee belt. Alright. My leg! I hope you all are enjoying the Morrowind stream here tonight, today, whatever you are. Uh, it's, it's a treat to stream this game. And again, for years I contemplated doing Morrowind, and I uh, I, I kind of pussy it out, because I'm like, dude, this is going to be boring. I can't read fucking worth two shits. Like, I, I'm, I'm illiterate, and I, I stutter when I speak, and it's going to be awful. And, like, I... I I, I, I just can't, like, do a stream like this justice. And I probably am not doing that right now, but... But I'm having fun, and I didn't think I would have this much fun streaming Morrowind, but... Yeah. Alright. Excuse me. Alright, this might require a little bit more cheese. So. I used to be in the mar in in the camp of you stream Skyrim instead, but after these streams, you changed my mind. Joel. Well, uh, cool, cool, cool. Cool. All right. Ah, uh, got something in my eye. All right, there we go. So, I'm gonna head back here, go into the dungeon. Uh, where that might be. The levitating is basically no clipping. Not if it's in the game. Let's see. Can I find? There it is. Okay. Joel is harnessing Chim. <laughs> now, the, the true Chim would be like just straight up TCLing and TGMing, but let's not talk too much about that. Might be a little too spoilery if I do. <laughs> Alright, well, let's check out this sword. And next stream, we're gonna kick some Dagoth ass. Alright, is there anything else in this dungeon I should probably get that I haven't gotten? I told you I'd be back! This is fucking scouted. Hey, I'm a scout. Oh. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. That hurt. Jerk. Okay. Wait, can I just go up there? No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm talking shite. Alright. There's a rat here before that despawned, but... Hey, we're doing this real quick, man. We're doing this real quick. Okay, there we go, there we go, gotta be a little careful so we don't jump down and hurt our, our, our legs, like I did before. Eh, come on, come on, come, <clears throat> there we go, alright, so you're saying that this, this, this sword or whatever is here. Up here? <gasps> no, that's a wizard staff. Well, whatever. Let's get that too. Silence. I've heard of you, said the old vagabond. Very impressed. Aren't you the adventure slew all those ass vampires and ghost gain a couple of months back? How, how long is the story? Tell what. Let's take this and keep it. Ooh, scroll of league step. Recall on self. Okay. Dispel, absolutely. Absorb personality. Ooh, shield. Restore health, restore fatigue. Ooh, good, 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 good stuff. You know what? Let's get this anyway. What? Levitate? This had levitate. The wizard staff. It's kind of redundant. There's no way you could get it out otherwise, but alright. But anyway, we got this. Let's get the uh, open thing here. Uh, fuck, I should have done an open thing on, on an item. Unhinging. Alright, this better be good. This better be good. Boo! You know what? No, I'm 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 good. I'm good. I don't want some stupid jewelry. Oh 
shit, I accidentally used it. Double levitate. Alright, anti-gravity belt. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, here we go. Alright, so... Where the hell is this sword? We got that, and... Hmm? It's not here. Hmm, it's over there, Joel. Not here either, man. Hmm. That was up here, too, so... Get up here again and see. Uh, not the waterfall, is it? Uh, hey, here's my tanker. Let's get that back. <laughs> it never went anywhere. <gasps> there it is. There it is. There it is. There it fucking is. Resist magica. That's all right, I guess. Here it is. It's pretty badass, though. It's pretty badass. There was one more thing. God, I'm a, I'm gonna become a little too powerful in these streams. I'm really fast, and I'm like using an anti gravity belt. But <laughs> there was one more thing that I missed, and that was the um, there was a chest or whatever that was locked. So let's try that out real quick. I swear, levitate is the most fucked shit. I can see, I'm just like, yeah, yeah, whatever. Alright, let's open this up. Let's hope it's good. Let's hope it's good. And I'm, I'm, I'm also gonna save after this, so it doesn't matter what it is inside. Let's see here, bargain mat, fortify, agility, frost shield, swift swim, intelligence, paralyze. Alright, but that's it. We are out of here. Uh, is there anything else I missed here? Uh, isn't there a thing in here, by the way? Like, something behind the waterfall? Right? No, 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 I'm talking trying to... Like the big waterfall. No, that's not it. Nah, there's nothing here. There's nothing here. All right, but well that's that. That's that. That is that. All right, let's get out of here. All right. Yeah, whatever, skeletons. You know, you know, what would be great in Morrowind if that could be a thing. Unenchant weapons, but that would break it too much. I think you're kind of stuck with whatever, whatever the. <laughs> Wait, what's this? Spear of Light? I'll take that. Ow! Okay. Well, there we go. Alright, let me let me be a little lazier, too. Let me be extra... Oh, hang on. I like it! I like it! Now, if only this sword had, like... Fire damage and shock damage at the same time, it could be the titties. Actually, you know what? We should end the stream with a little bit of a claymore hunt. Is there any raw? Well, I guess that 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 would. Does anybody know of any Daedric shrines or places that might have a unenchanted glass sword? Because I really want to make one before we uh, the end of tonight's stream. I know there's a Daedric sword in an orc place, I believe. Hey, we can explore this. Let's explore this real quick. I don't know what it is, but hey, let's be a little dangerous. Let's score anyway and explore. Am I still doing the Waldo thing? Yeah, I am. Anyone home? Cattle? What are you doing here? What can I do for you? Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I thought this was like a... What are you guys doing here? Huh? Oh god. F 
fucking vampire place! Vampire l lives here. Run. But good to know. If we want to become a vampire real quick, we know. Uh, now I understand why it said cattle. I'm like, what? what? Jesus. Alright, well. We've streamed Marwind. Uh, oh, ooh, ooh, before we go. Before we go. We kicked some orc ass here earlier. No, it's a different place. Am I powerful enough to take Dremora down? I believe I am. Ooh! Look at my health. Holy shit. He had a dwarven battle axe. I'll take that. Thank you. Let me just do this real quick. Let's see what's inside this place. Get some pretty good loot before we go and in tonight. Hey, yo, what's poppin'? <laughs> hey, you, be you, be you better be careful. You, uh, oof. you might fall down. Like to live on the edge, huh? What's this? Mage ring. Fortify intelligence. I'll take that. Thank you. Shit, I guess I gotta jump down, huh? Oh fuck, here we go. Oh man. Ow! It's not like I have a belt that I, I can actually use, huh? No. Nope. <laughs> Let me be a little cheap and rest up before I do this. Oh, I leveled up. Uh let's get uh probably should get some more intelligence so I can uh Use more spells and stuff, but nah, you know, I'd rather just enchant stuff with my gold. Um, probably personality, probably, but then again, I'm bribing a lot of people in the game, so on level five. Wait, well, there's only like, well, actually, there's no level le level limit in Morrowind, but leveling takes slow in these games, man. Uh, you're on level five and you're stacked with this shit, yeah. <laughs> you know what, strength. Endurance and agility. I'm kind of keeping the same every time, but now that I am strong gear. I shall enjoy watching you take your last breath. You shut your mouth. Is this guy any good? We got a pretty irritating wizard over here. Ooh! Ooh! Jesus! Ooh, powerful fucking magic! Okay, we're taking care of that person first. Holy shit. Come here. Ooh, they predicted where I was going. This wizard does not fuck around. Fucking hell. Damn. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna tell you a little bit of a secret in this game. Now, Oblivion and Morrowind uses the same kind of like predicting where you're going path. I don't know if you remember this in the Oblivion streams, but I talk about this. But when an imp fires a fireball, and if you're going left, they auto predict that left path. But if you spam A and D like brrr, like that, they, the AI doesn't know where you're going. So check this out. Come here. <laughs> A little cheese, but that's the way it is. What did you have on you? Oh, glass dagger! Holy shit, we got glass already? Alright. Spell absorption. Ring of sanguine silver wisdom. Take that, thank you. Take that as well. Oh, fuck. Something just hit me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, do that. This shit is really powerful. Holy shit, dude. Ooh, damn. Ooh. Alright. Wait, did I not bring me any, uh... Well, I did cheap restore spell, but, uh... Hey, watch this. Watch this. Let me yeet out of this situation and, and take care of myself. There we go. <laughs> I have a ton of... I can do this ring of healing. 
And then I can do, uh... This... What else do I have that's pretty good? I have that, but let's, let's do this. Restore health. There we go. Going back. You know, hey, you know what? Why the fuck am I going to the inventory every time? Let's do a little hotkey instead. The, uh, le uh the blah, 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 blah. The bleb. The bleb. <laughs> My anti-gravity stuff, I'm gonna... Oh, fuck, I already had this. Forgot about that. Okay. This is going to be a magic thing. It's gonna be my anti-gravity belt. Alright, so whenever I wanna, um... Do this, I just select two, and I can fly as much as I want. Would you say that's cheating? I say no. <laughs> hey, where are you, dude? Come here. This guy doesn't me not mess around, man. Fuck. This block is really good, too. Look at that face. That, my friends, is the face of violence. <laughs> I swapped weapon, by the way, accidentally. Fire by war axe. I'll take that. Alright. Let me make sure that this is... There we go. And then let's put something else. Uh, the sword. No, not, not that. My actual sword. The Mage Bane. There we go. So, let me do that and whoop. Good. So where's this... Wh wh what is this place? It's an air mill. Dead. A lot of dead scamps. Wait, now what do we got here? Oh, a soul gem! I can do that for... Oh, a diamond, too. Hey, 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 hey! What the fuck? Oh, God! God! Mmm! Mm. Holy fuck! More like Ball over here just... ...being pissed off at me. Is this it's trying to do, uh, more like Ball? No, it's not more like this is fucking uh bleh, 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 bleh. this is um uh, Mother fucking Oblivion guy Mayron's Dagon fucking hell More like Baal is the mace Satan <laughs> Wait, where did this guy come from? Is there someone else here? Where the fuck did the Dramar come from? He just spawned out of nowhere. It's the diamond! The diamond's a cursed diamond! Oh! This Dremora does not fuck around. Damn. I'm ready for you. What is that? What the fuck is that? It's a lord! It's a fucking... Ooh, man. Thought it was just a random offering, but no, no, this, this spawns this guy. I don't know, do you think I'm powerful enough to take this guy down? I say yes. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna... I'm gonna cheese it a little bit. Come here. <laughs> now we're having a fucking real wizard battle, huh? <laughs> Let's see what else I can do here. That could be fun. Uh... Okay. What else do we have here? That could be fun. Um... Command humanoid. I don't want to cheat too much. Uh... Hey, you know what? Let's use the, 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 the skeleton thing. The skeleton is not gonna last for a fucking second, but hey, it could be fun. Now go kill with your no weapon. You you kill him, you kill him, you deal with Oh my god, okay, hang on. Ooh, he 
got me, you got me, friend. Oh. Okay, uh... Make, make sure that I have this... Wait, I have better stuff on me that... You know what? No, no, no fucking healing, we can do this. That thing hurts so much. So Dramora Lord, so this guy does definitely not fuck around. <laughs> Hardcore Morrowind strats. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna send out the skeleton first. You do it, you do it. Go man, go what the fuck are you doing? Go, kill, kill, kill. <laughs> He's so useful. Distract him, fuck! We got him! Alright. You had a dwarven warrior. I wasn't that powerful, but thanks for helping, idiot. <laughs> that was just that was just like a fist bump, you know? Like, thanks. Sanyo and I had some shit on them too, but uh bap. Okay, well there's there we go. Is that a little Daedric shrine? Got a dagger out of it though. But I don't really use daggers, but hey! Hey, do you mind? <sighs> Alright. Fuck, now I'm hooked on this stuff. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, I need to stop playing! It's like in those Dwarf Fortress streams. I, I stop playing and I'm like enjoying myself too much, so... Alright. Uh... Hey guys, I slaughtered a bunch of shit. But I, I haven't. What are we talking about? I don't betray the clan. What the fuck are you talking about? Whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't know what fucking thing was chasing me. Thanks for telling me, guys. Assholes. Alright, anyway, uh, before we go, we had a ring that we just got that could be pretty good. Uh, fortify illusion on self. Am I wearing any rings? No, but hey, I can do this real quick. Permanent illusion increase, so that's pretty damn good. Alright, well, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what, boys. I'm gonna show you something real funny. Y'all remember the, uh, before we end the stream. Y'all remember the uh, Ikarian flight sp skill that we had? That allows us to yeet everywhere we want, like this. Check this out. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Alright, we're becoming really fucking powerful. We're almost like demigod status, but... Um, I'm gonna call it for here for Morrowind. Um, we did a lot of stuff today. We started doing the Never in Prophecy quests. And, uh, yeah. Um, cool shit. Anyway, that was more for today. Great stuff. Sorry I didn't do this yesterday, but did it today. So, yes. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed. We're gonna move on here to uh, a Hardcore Friday, so sit tight. And, yeah, but always fun to do more. Alright, be right back.